in the bottle. People would go nuts. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Sunday edition of the program. Of course, we're here, and we'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss. You just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. Of course, you can talk about anything you want. You can also do the same thing on our website, where you can actually submit content right there to the front page of the site. It's a Reddit-based system, so it's a free account. You can just... Get it uh, linked. Get your Reddit account linked in with your Free Talk Live account. Just takes a moment, and then you can get interactive right there on the front page over at freetalklive.com. With you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian, and me, Mark. And Mark, tonight you'll be telling us uh, if we get the chance about a family that is being investigated because they're allowing their what their kids, yeah, to travel without accompaniment to go about what the neighborhood uh, right. here and there. And apparently not having their parents with them is something that deserves investigation these days in the United States. We will uh, get into that when we get the chance. But coming up uh, right away, I wanted to talk about John Cantley again because it has been a long time since uh, we've mentioned John Cantley on the air on Free Talk Live. Now, for listeners who have been tuned in over the last several months, you know that uh, John Cantley is one of the last remaining, at least that we know of, uh, captives. That's the claim. Uh, that uh, so the folks calling themselves ISIS claim to have over in Iraq. And he has been hosting a series of videos that is allegedly produced by the folks calling themselves ISIS. And those videos have been released over the last few months, maybe about three or four months at this point, sort of staggered out. Uh, for a little while, it was seemed like once every two weeks, and they became less frequent in fact, it feels like it's been over a month. It feels like it might be a bun- month, yeah. Yeah, and, and now the one that I'm going to play for you here was actually released on January 4th. I didn't realize it had come out until I just I was just Googling for John Cantley just the other day just to see if there was anything fresh about him. Smart to stay informed like that. Yeah. And so I did find this. And I don't think we've missed anything because I went back and I looked to see what, you know, just see if there was one that maybe came out during the Christmas holiday as well. Like, mm-hmm. did, did we miss another one? I don't think we've missed something. So if you heard us uh, playing the one of the more recent Cantley videos, that was around the time, if you recall, Mark, where they had a uh, horrifying execution of what was around 18, I think, airmen from... Syrian. It was Syrian airmen. Air yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they actually did show the um, a lot of the decapitations of those men because there had for a long time been this conspiracy theory around some of the ISIS videos, which were supposed beheading videos, that never actually showed the beheadings. And thank goodness, I don't, I don't want to watch beheading videos. It's not something I'm interested in doing. And uh, so they hadn't shown the beheadings of these American and British hostages, of which John Cantley is one of those people. Mm -hmm. And they have allegedly eliminated all of their hostages except for John Cantley and maybe, I think, allegedly a female, an American female. That's the last I heard. If you've heard more recently uh, what's the, you know what the latest is on that situation, you're welcome to call in. Uh, or, of course, you can call in about anything you'd like. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. So Cantley has normally hosted these videos produced by ISIS, allegedly, and he's been sitting at a table with a, an orange kind of jail shirt on, uh, not much in the, nothing in the background, just a he's black like background. He's like an incarcerated anchorman, sort of. Yeah, yeah, basically. And then there was some discussion, I guess, from one of his family members suggesting that Cantley might actually believe two-thirds of the things that he was saying in these videos. And there's an, there had been one video thus far where they actually took Cantley out of this anonymous studio, which has no indicating, you know, just a table against a black curtain. And they took him out of the studio and they put him on uh, up on rooftops. And he was, I think it was a town called Kobane, right on the, the border of Turkey, apparently. Mm-hmm. And that was because that was interesting. They, you know, they dressed him up. He had a nice dress shirt on. He looked like he would be seen in any other news production reporting from some kind of war zone or whatever. But the point of that production was to show that it wasn't the war zone that it was said that it was Mm. uh, in Western media. And so that is where we pick up here with yet another edition of this uh, ISIS propaganda featuring John Cantley, where he's acting as a news reporter, a journalist on the ground. This time, uh, he's in Mosul, 
and he's got quite a bit to say. It's an eight-minute clip, and it's all very interesting. Uh, so he takes you into the streets. So last time he was on the rooftops of Kobane, now he's in the streets uh, in Mosul with a cameraman, and he's narrating. So I'm going to kick this off here from Canale 25 News. That's uh, the channel on YouTube on which this appears. It's in full HD uh, or 720p, and it looks very nice. Well shot, good quality. Hello, I'm John Cantley, and today we're on top of the world in Mosul, overlooking the second largest city in Iraq and under the complete control of the Islamic State for over five months. It's the absolute heartland of the caliphate and home to nearly two million people from every walk of life. Situated on the banks of the Tigris River, Mosul is an ancient trading city and a Sunni province, as much of Iraq used to be before American-led invasions and pro-Iranian governments changed the political map. Let's go down onto the streets of Mosul below and find out. And they're calling this, uh, for it's kind of the pull away, and it shows a few, like uh, some montage clips. And it says, from inside Mosul. So that's what this clip is called. The media likes to paint a picture of life in the Islamic State as depressed, people walking around as subjugated citizens uh, in chains and beaten down by strict totalitarian rule. Uh, but really, apart from some rather chilly but very sunny December weather, uh, life here in Mosul uh, is business as usual. So what's being shown so far isn't too much detail. He's inside a car, sort of narrating to the camera. Uh, as this is One on. uh, unnamed Mosul official said that Mosul is living through an extremely hard and horrible time. He was quoted on the Saudi-owned TV channel Al Arabiya, but really it's just misleading because what I can see is thousands of people, thousands of Iraqis, going about their daily business here in Mosul after years of oppression under Saddam's rule and the descent into chaos that followed the American invasion. Sunni Muslims... Wait a second. Um, I'm trying to figure this out. The uh, ISIS folks are Sunni, and Saddam was Sunni. Okay. So it's kind of odd for him to say that it was, you know, the terrorism under Saddam or whatever. That's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm surprised at that. Well, there are people who will suggest that it wasn't so bad under Saddam either. I guess the, you know, the, the propaganda here from ISIS is that things are better under ISIS than they were under Saddam and certainly under the American, you know, destruction that happened after the invasion. Okay. That's what they're saying. You know, whether or not that's true, I don't know. But certainly the footage is showing... Uh, plenty of cars in the street, you know, not not junker looking cars necessarily either. There are actually some newer model looking cars driving about uh, in in Mosul. And th thus far, again, he's still in the car, so there's not a whole lot of perspective that uh, that we're seeing. Can now walk on the streets of Mosul without fear of sheer oppression. And another cutaway from inside. Mosul. No visit to a Muslim country would be complete without doing some shopping at a souk. The bustling, crazy markets where you can buy anything from books to lighters. To At this point, he is walking through one of the markets uh, of Mosul. And uh, there's you know plenty of shops open for business, people walking about here and there. And, you know, looks like just another average day. Perfumes to bags. And everywhere you look, everywhere you come here in this old, old suits, one of the oldest in Mosul, I uh, was struck by just how whoop, normal and crazy and busy everything is. This is not a city living in fear, as the Western media would have you believe. Now, if, they're, if this guy's wandering around mm -hmm. out here with this camera crew, it kind of makes you wonder... Like, are, they're not holding a gun on this guy while he's doing this work. No, I he, wouldn't think so. He's out in the busy streets of Mosul, um, and... People would be acting a little strange if they were holding a handgun yes. on this guy, right? Yeah, it looks like any other day. It looks like any other uh, news reporter walking through a market, you know, giving you a rundown of what the business was like, how things were going.
Well, I, I don't know that. I don't know what I think about that particular fact or whatever. But Are you suggesting he could make a break for it if he wanted to? I imagine no. he'd be captured. I uh, imagine more coming he might. up here in moments. Eight fifty-five, four fifty-three. We'll continue with John Cantley's latest ISIS video coming up. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like here, though we are catching up with John Cantley, the ISIS captive who doesn't appear too captive in his most recent video. He's on the streets of Mosul in Iraq taking a camera uh, person, maybe a crew, not sure, at least one camera person, 
Uh, there, although there were a couple shots where there's two cameras being used uh, interchangeably, but uh, he's got a camera crew with him. He's in the streets of Mosul and uh, he's dr driven about a little bit and they've kind of showed the roads and that there's people there and people are doing business. Now he's in a marketplace uh, in Mosul, walking in front of the different shops and you can see they're clearly open and people are going in and out and passing by the camera and it, you know, it certainly appears to be yet another day a regular business there in Mosul and that's kind of the point he's making. Uh, in his narrative, is he's saying that the Western media has been painting Mosul as this embattled city where uh, the people are under siege and they're living in fear, but yet, you know, it doesn't appear to be that way, right? And the suggestion from the video is that I didn't really feel like that was the case. I, I, I mean, I've heard the word Mosul a few times, but it didn't come up to my mind the same way that Fallujah came up to my mind when it when the battles were going on. In that Iraq. was a long time ago. Is right, what you're talking about. I understand. He's but just, referring to the ISIS rule. He says that in the media that, and he cites you know different media. I'm sure you could go and look him up and you know yeah, most check of, him on that. Most of them are sort of uh, Middle Eastern media. He cited the Guardian in there. Did he? As well. I, maybe I, he hasn't I gotten that, that one yet. Maybe that hasn't. I, I I did watch this before the show, so maybe sure. I, I'm remembering something that hasn't gone out over the air. So we'll continue with the video here uh, in moments. It's about eight minutes long. We're through almost half of it at this point. The toll free number is eight fifty. 450 free. If you'd like to comment, you're welcome to join in here. Pro XPN is what you need if you care about privacy online because Pro XPN encrypts your data connection so your internet service provider will not know what you're doing online as soon as you start with Pro XPN. So go and get started tonight. You can do it for free. Just download their software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. If you're a Linux user, you can get Pro XPN working as well. It's just a different setup process, and it's fairly simple. You go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Get started there. And when you're ready to upgrade, you can use code FTL50 and save 50% off of the price of the annual account. With that premium account, you'll get unlimited bandwidth. You'll get servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL, and you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose but your privacy. So use promo code FTL50 when you're ready to sign up. And know this, that ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits. It's a great discount on privacy that's priceless. ProXPN.com slash FTL code FTL50. As we continue with John Cantley, the ISIS propaganda minister. Now, look, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't take an opinion on what's the truth coming out of, uh, of Iraq. I think these videos from ISIS are very interesting. Because they give you a, it's a unique perspective. I mean, had this been uh, 30 years ago, it would be impossible to get this. You know, you would have to take what Fox or C CBS or NBC or whoever it would be. I don't know if Fox was doing news 30 years ago. Probably not. But uh, CBS, NBC, ABC, you'd have to take their word for it. They would report on the allegations on what was going on. And unless you were there, unless you had some sort of connection to some sort of uh, international coverage, that uh, might give you a different perspective. You would you'd be in the dark. And yeah, I um, saw, like for instance, I, I'm just the way the media kind of twists things around. There was a shot of the European leaders walking through the streets of Paris uh, a couple like last week or something like that, mm -hmm. and then you saw another shot of it, and it looked remarkably like a staged shot. You, really? Yeah, they were all sort of lined up, and there were some people behind them. But the way the camera shot was taken, you'd think this street was just thronging with people behind them hmm. but in fact it was a few people deep and likely was the bodyguards or whatever of these people <laughs> you know like they didn't they didn't say I'm, I'm just saying that they could use their bodyguards and personal assistants and other tax fed uh, parasites behind them and it would have been the same shot so it wasn't much when you had a bird's eye view of it so uh, jumping back in here from the latest or what is ostensibly the latest video from John Cantley as he's walking through the streets of Mosul. He's in a, uh, a Mosul market right now where people are open for business. And that's sort of the message he's portraying is that everything is not as the mainstream media is making it sound. This is just a normal city going about its daily business and certainly nothing. Uh, as written in The Guardian on the 27th then, of October, go, okay. who said the price of basic goods have gone up sharply. People have no money, they said. Rubbish lies uncollected on the streets, and there are only two hours of electricity every four days. Well, there are a lot of neon signs and flashing bright lights around here. They've been on a lot longer than two hours in the last four days. And uh, I'm reminded of one quote from 
the Saudi-owned television channel, Al Arabiya. He's, uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on here in the video feed, so again, still just kind of walking as he's talking, but there's some intercut, uh, you know, B-roll of like him buying stuff from one of the market providers and, you know, just sort of more scenes of the market people yeah, working. The, the, so this is propaganda, mm -hmm. and it's difficult for me to, like, I don't know whether they just, hey, the lights are on, somebody get the prisoner, we're going to go out and shoot some video. Uh, like, I have no idea <laughs> what's exactly going on. I am predisposed not to believe anything that these people say, more, even more than the United States government, right? Like, I I don't know why. I don't know why either. I'm not, I figure I they're all the, liars. I do not have that predis, uh, predisposition. I mean, to me, unless they've actually set up some sort of bustling street in Mosul for the purpose of showing this, <laughs> it seems... You better get out there and yeah. bustle. <laughs> it seems fairly legit. At the very least, you know, maybe what he's saying isn't legit, but what they're showing appears at the very least to be a legitimate marketplace. Is there rubbish all over the streets? Well, they're not showing the they're not shooting downward. They're shooting at him as he's walking past uh, all these shops. I think the suggestion is and I, I mean in the wider wider shots you certainly don't see that. So no, I would say. Most of the places in the Middle East outside of Israel that I've been have been not up to American standards mm -hmm. for uh Sanitar uh, sanitation? Just generally, sort of life, uh, as far as how you would expect things to be as an American. Um, you know, dusty and, uh, you know, old rundown and that sort of thing. Says the people of Mosul are living in very hard conditions. It is very difficult. I look around, and really that doesn't seem to be the case at all. We have to wrap up at the soup now and move on to the next place, but... Uh, there's a huge crowd of people around us. This is not uh, an empty desert. Now, to be clear, the camera does not pan when he claims that there's a huge crowd. But nonetheless, it does appear to be a, bu a busy, bustling street that he's on, and there are no shortage of people passing by um, and people in the, the vicinity, it seems. So I'm not watching the video. You're watching the video. Yep. Um, and I've got to say that the guy is special. Just superb. He's on the great, air. isn't he? Is he really great. On he the was air. born for this. He really was. He, you know, I mean, he makes you. It, it, it's like any travel channel video. It, yep. He's awesome. Uh, depressed place at all. This is bustling. We have to move on. And again, the production's called From Inside. Oh, one of Mosul. the heartbeats of any modern city is its healthcare system. Uh, if you don't have medicine, if you don't have doctors and nurses uh, for your citizens, then everyone's in big trouble uh, so we've managed to get permission uh, to visit the main hospital here in Mosul and we're gonna take the time to talk to the doctors and nurses to find out uh, what are the demands being made on them for emergency medical care and just all right so he's in the car heading toward presumably that hospital uh, we will continue with the video here from John Cantley with ISIS. It's the latest on Free Talk Live. You can also bring up anything at 855-450-FREE. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. 
It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like, passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. It is the live Sunday edition. We're going to continue with the latest propaganda video from ISIS, or allegedly from ISIS. They have their host, John Cantley, who is also a, a captive. He is someone who has been in most of these videos in an orange jail t-shirt. However, in this one, they have him dressed as a news correspondent, and he's walking and driving about in the city of Mosul, Iraq, attempting to explain their perspective that uh, the city of Mosul is not this embattled, uh, difficult city in which to live, that things are as normal there, business is going on, people are in the streets, and everything is uh, you know, indistinguishable from the average city. Uh, that's the message thus far. You can take of it what you may, and we're going to continue with it here in moments. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. And, Mark, how does one get an entire pound of some of the best coffee in the world? You just free. go to coffee.freetalklive.com. For free. For free. You just go there, get a free pound. Uh, all you have to do is sign up for the uh, the subscription program. Uh, you can cancel it at any time. There's no problem with that. You can get your free pound and go. But if you stay signed up and you customize the plan for yourself, uh, you know, how often you want to get, however much you want to get, um, what, you know, do you want coffee from one particular place? Do you want a particular blend? Do you want decaf? Do you want regular? Whatever it is you might need for your life, you can just sort of take care of that coffee problem. You'll upgrade your coffee drinking experience to have uh, shade grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. And... What you'll also do is help us to help people around the world because what BuzzBox does that's unique among high-end coffee uh, retailers is they give some money back to Free Talk Live so that we can give out microloans through Kiva.org. And we have helped a bunch of people through Kiva. And when they pay their loans off, we're going to help more. 
and it just your, your money keeps on keeping on into the future. It's coffee.freetalklive.com to get a free pound, try it out, see how you like it, coffee.freetalklive.com. So we've got a few more minutes left in the ISIS video, but first let's go to your calls and thoughts. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Carl is listening to Atlantic City's WPG. Hello, Carl. Hi. You know, that, that video makes it really enticing for me to go over there. I have no business there. I'm retired. I want to keep my head, I, and I hope I can keep my head here. And, and Charlie, I remember when Charlie, that was the Viet Cong, you know, killed Charlie, right? And now they killed Charlie, but uh, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. It seemed a little disjointed what you were you were saying there. I, I heard you sh- uh, explain that you did not want to lose your head, so therefore you're not planning right. a, a trip to the Middle East. I wouldn't go there. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I mean, this doesn't seem like uh, you know a place I want to visit, and I generally don't want to go to any place that's you know torn by war. But I think the point right. they're trying to make in the video is maybe things aren't as bad as people in the Western mainstream media uh, and their government counterparts would like people to believe. Do you think that could be true? Well, I think it's true. But I said I have no business there. Maybe we, maybe no, none of us from our country have any business there. Well, I'm sure some people yeah. have business. I mean, they may actually have business contracts with some of the vendors and the street dealers, or. Whatever, who knows what sort of business is going on? And obviously, if people want to take the risk of uh, of traveling there, I, th- I certainly think they should be free to do so. Um, but right. what was your concern about being beheaded here in the United States? You don't actually think that's a real legit concern, do you? Well, I, I hope not. But anything's possible. Who would have thought it could happen in France? You know. Well, I think that the was there beheading in France. No, the Charlie Hebdo. Uh, no, there weren't. No, no, shoot, there those are shootings. Shot. Yeah. Yeah, they were just shot. Not that that makes it worse. I mean, not that uh, beheadings are worse than shootings. I mean, either way, uh, lives are— Dead is dead. Right, lives are being taken, and and that's not okay. I mean, it certainly is not. Right. But, I mean, mean, there's violence that happens here in the United States. Yes, yes. You know, plenty of shootings have have gone on here. It certainly doesn't—Charlie Hebdo does not make me more concerned for my life here in the United States than I was previously. Well, I think that the the Charlie Hebdo thing, I I believe I could solve. If I could wave a wand, I think I could solve the problem relatively quickly. Um, First off, uh, you get the West out of the Middle East. Uh, These armies have no business telling those people how to live their lives and how to form their governments and all that stuff. That's going to take a big, giant leap towards uh, peace. The second one is is you stop handing out freebies to uh, people who might, uh, just just for the fact that they might immigrate. Just because they draw breath does not mean that they deserve to get a bunch of freebies. In Europe, they have a lot of problems with uh, immigrants coming in, and then they leech off of the welfare system, the dole or whatever they call it in uh, in France. And uh, y- they don't have any incentive to assimilate. They, uh, I mean, there's, there's a much bigger problem with assimilation when you, when you have all these freebie programs and the women don't have to go out and work and everybody can stay inside in the apartment and continue to on with their, you know, frame of mind and they don't have to, uh, uh, you know, mix and mingle with the, with the, the rest of the folks. Thanks, Carl, for your call tonight. Appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So let's jump back into this uh, video here from ISIS, as hosted by Canal 25 News on YouTube. Let's continue. What kind of casualties they're admitting? Okay, by the way, just a recap. He's going to a hospital here in uh, Mosul, the second largest city in Iraq, uh, ostensibly completely under the control, according to him, according to John Cantley here of ISIS. Now, this wing of the hospital is a special children's unit Uh, for pediatric problems with kids who need special medicines. And the room we're about to go into is for children with psychiatric problems as a direct result of bombs and explosions uh, falling from above. Come into this room with me. Now, I have to talk quite quietly uh, because these kids, as I say, uh, are very averse to loud noises because of the explosions. Um, But as you can see, they're very young. Uh, The mother's here, and they're clearly not happy. Um, But despite all this, there is plenty of electricity. Uh, We spoke to one of the doctors earlier, and he told us they are getting the medicines that they need. So despite the bombs that are raining down, and we're told that just two days ago, an ambulance was hit by a bomb or a missile that fell from an aircraft. Despite these things, uh, the doctors are getting what they need, and the Islamic State is prevailing. They can take it. 
Do you think that the when they're going into these hospitals and talking to these doctors who are uh, you know so happy about all the electricity they're getting, do you think that they're saying, "Hey, we're going to shoot, uh, we're going to shoot a little uh, propaganda video here, mm -hmm. no big deal," or do you think they're saying, "Hey, the guy in our propaganda video is our prisoner. If he runs, <laughs> kill him." Like I just don't. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, I don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. So fade to black, and they're outside. Is that him running away? Gotta rescue me again. No, they're showing a plane flying over and he's shouting up at the sky. Like, come get me? Something useless. Absolutely useless. <laughs> he said, come rescue me again. Are you going to try rescuing me again or something like that? Because the allegations were that the U.S. did try some sort of rescue mission and uh, the folks from ISIS... I guess sniffed it out. They knew it was going to happen before it did, and they they moved their hostages. So the, it was a failure. So again, still in the streets of Mosul here. Used to be getting out out of a police car. Mosul is home. How to do they some. collect their taxes? The Islamic State. I mean, it takes a know. long time to put together the apparatus of the bureaucracy in order to get the money from the people. Is it that? You know, they just take all the money from oil production. They don't really care about uh, what the people pay, or do, have they taken over the existing apparatus? And I them, have I don't no know. idea. If you have the answer to that, we'd love to hear from you. Toll free at 855-450 free. So he just has just exited. He appears to be under an overpass, uh, and there's a police car that he has just gotten out of the passenger side. Mosul is home to some two million people. That's a lot of businesses, homes, and traffic to keep an eye on. I'm just talking to you now, and there's thousands of cars coming by. And like every other city in the world, Mosul relies on its police force to keep law and order on the streets. But prior to the Islamic State's takeover, it seemed the only thing that Mosul's police could really do was run away from danger. If you look in Wikipedia under the entry of Mosul, it says that on November the 10th, 2004, the policemen not killed in the fighting fled the city leaving Mosul without any police force for about a month. Mm. Then, in a CNN report written on uh, June the 13th... We'll find out what he says here in moments in the final portion of the latest ISIS video featuring John Cantley continues here on Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. Our founders viewed the Constitution as the guiding law for determining whether or not acts taken by the government are legal. In a pure democracy, the majority can effectively do what it pleases, disregarding the rights of the minority. Our founders wrote the Constitution to put boundaries around government, to ensure that the government doesn't just make laws, it must obey the laws. When we say the rule of law, we mean that regardless of whatever political arguments we might have with others, we still protect their rights to life, liberty, and property. But to enforce those protections, there must be a branch of the government that won't respond to temporary political pressures. That's what the courts are for, to serve, as James Madison stated, as an impenetrable bulwark against every assumption of power in the legislative or executive branch. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? 
I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says, some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition of the program. You can dial in toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. If you like what we're doing on Free Talk Live, then we invite you to shop with us. Go shop.freetalklive.com. You'll find links to Amazon there, as well as some other stores. Uh, But you click into the Amazon link that's right for you. There's Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and as well as Amazon US. You just go into the right Amazon for you and then, you know, buy whatever you need to get. Free Talk Live will get a cut of the purchase price. So rather than Amazon keeping all of the profits for themselves, Uh, We will get a portion of them if you go through shop.freetalklive.com. And to make your uh, process even simpler, you go to to shop.freetalklive.com, click on the right Amazon for you, and then bookmark the landing page. And then all you have to do from that point on to do shopping is to just go to that bookmark, and it'll be good to go. It'll help Free Talk Live quite a bit, and you get the stuff you want at the same great Amazon deals that you're used to. As we jump back into the remaining minute and a half of the John Cantley report, here's what they're calling it, from Mosul, where he's on the streets, uh, he's gone into a hospital, he's gone to a marketplace, he's now standing in front of a police car talking about the police there in Mosul. He's yelled to a plane for help. (laughs) Yeah, he did. That was a little tongue-in-cheek, though. Uh, He is, by the way, a captive, allegedly, of ISIS, and that is uh, the group who is allegedly promoting and put together this video. God, I hope they don't kill this guy. I really hope so, too, man. He certainly has gone through the motions for them. (laughs) Has he ever? Every other captive has had their uh, head cut off, and he's the one who, thus far, that hasn't happened to yet, thank goodness. We uh, continue here with his video. Mosul without any police force for about a month. Then, in a CNN report... Written on uh, June the 13th, 2014, they say that police and soldiers running from their posts in Mosul raised the prospect the Iraqi government did not have the will or the resources to win the fight. So, a decade later, and all the police of Mosul really seem to have learned was how to drop their weapons and run away from trouble. It does seem fascinating that what we were told at the time was there are a few thousand of these ISIS people, that they somehow took this city of Mm -hmm. two million. And, I I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to think of Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine a force the size of a a high school taking (laughs) the city of Tampa. 
I don't even know how they would do it. Even if they were obviously superior armed and they had the, the, the surprise and everything, what do you take in order to take a city like that? I have no I clue. That. I don't know. And, and the claim at the beginning of the video is that Mosul is under the control of ISIS. So your guess is as good as mine here at 855 450 free. I'm just playing the video, man. <laughs> Let's continue with John Cantley in the remaining minute here, and then we'll get to your calls and thoughts. I'm patrolling the streets of Mosul. It's been a while since I've ridden a motorcycle, so <laughs> excuse me if I wobble around a bit, but it seems that the police are almost redundant despite having a very firm presence here in Mosul. There's really very little crime being committed, from what I can see, just people going you know, about... The under Mongol rule, now these are the most terrifying people uh, that the planet has ever seen. They killed between 20 and 70 million. They make, uh, they make Hitler and Stalin look like duffers, okay. right? Um, it was said that a young girl could carry a pot of gold on her head through the streets from uh, d and walk from essentially the Pacific to the Caspian. So to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, clue as to what's happening in the video here, as he's mentioned, he's on a motorcycle. Uh, it's now nighttime in Mosul, and he's uh, on this police motorcycle with... What appears to be a police officer uh, straddling him from uh, from the backside. One that hasn't run away. Yeah. Well, I mean, what he was describing with the people running away were uh, was like a decade ago in the initial invasion. That's of what? what? He was talking about. Of uh, Iraq from the United States. From the United States. Yeah, I believe is what he was Oh, I thought we were talking about ISIS taking over Mosul. No, I believe he was referring to a decade past. Okay. Uh, when he was talking most recently, standing in front of uh, the police car. So he's driving about through the streets of Mosul on this police car, trying to or this police uh, motor motorbike and uh, motorcycle, and trying to you know paint the picture that this city is you know as peaceful as any other city, and that he doesn't see any overt crime. But obviously, he's just driving down one of the main streets, and you can tell it's a fairly main street. There are plenty of cars. Uh, the businesses are lit up. It's this isn't a set. Right, they're they're open for business here, pretty clearly. Their business, and uh, nothing like the police before, who would run at the slightest sign of trouble. Anyway, we got to go and patrol now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's always fun. Yep. So they're fading to black. Here. Playing in the background is ah. a screen. This is a media place here in Mosul, showing me reporting from Kobani, and now here I am on the streets of Mosul. It just goes to show the stretch of the territory the Islamic State hold all the way from Kobani, and there I am in the background, all the way here in Mosul, and here I am on the streets. That was me then, and this is me now, and it just shows how much territory the Islamic State are controlling. And that's it. Fades, uh, fades to black. End of the video, 8 minutes, 15 seconds long. No real wrap-up from uh, Cantley there at the at the very end. Just, you know, hey, we're in charge. We've got this big swath of land. Things are great. And everything's okay here. We're good at yeah. this or something. What yeah. do you think, Mark? What do you think about that? I, I don't believe anything they say. Um, mm -hmm. I consider them to be terrifying, terrible people. And, uh, but... They've made a convincing video. I do love Cantley's uh, presentation. I think he's just he's so, persuasive. He's well. I mean, it's his job. Yeah. Um. I, I I don't have any explanation for what I've seen. I mean, they've they've done a pretty good job of it. But whatever it is that they want to portray, I tend to want to believe the opposite, mm -hmm. just because. I find them so horrifying. <laughs> but, I mean, yes, they are horrifying, no doubt. And some of the things that they've done, uh, the decapitations for sure are just atrocious, especially the more recent video from December or late November where they actually did show this very gore-filled uh, decapitation video. I mean, there's certainly some things to uh, to really despise about them. But are they that much more despicable than any other government anywhere else? I mean, if the Islamic State wants people to recognize them as a state— uh, I mean, I don't believe in the idea of states, but for those that do believe in the idea, they're as legitimate as any other state. They, they rule by violence. Uh, they rule by threat of violence, and they enact violence on the, their, uh, the people that are their subjects and their captives. That's not really any different from the United States. Just because the U.S. doesn't engage in, the, uh, in guillotine activities or hangings anymore doesn't mean that it's that well, much more advanced. Uh, first off, I'd say the U.S. would uh, 
participate in guillotining if that was the most profitable thing to do. The most I profitable right about that. thing to do is to incarcerate people and force taxpayers to pay for them. I don't know. However, if you put guillotine on television, people would probably do pay-per-view for that. They might, um, and I don't... <sighs> I think that the lashback from that would be really, really bad. However, I would say that you're wrong when you say that there's no difference between the Islamic State and the United States. Um, the United States, they— The United States probably imprisons even more people than the Islamic State. So I didn't say there'd be no difference. Imprisoning people is expensive. The difference would be in degrees. Okay. I would agree that the, um, the it's There's probably in degrees. More. There are in the United States, there are three hundred million potential kings. Mm -hmm. And we decide what the rules and the laws are basically based upon those three hundred million kings and what they want to do. In ISIL or ISIS or whatever, they uh, there's far fewer chieftains, as it were, and they their you know their view of the world is not what I would consider to be a particularly progressive one. So no, I don't think it's the same. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. Um, I would say that it seems to me the United States oppresses far more people than uh, the Islamic State does. Uh, but you're welcome to share your thoughts with us here. Robert is in Fergus Falls. You're on Free Talk Live, Roberts. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Robert, go ahead with your thoughts. Hey uh, would it be fair to say that if we had to toppled Saddam Hussein, then ISIS wouldn't be as big as it is today? Oh, yeah, probably, I think it's a fair bet. That's probably fair to say, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I, does it, I don't know. I, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but, but I, I don't know. It, it's really kind of scary, though, I mean, to... Know that, that 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 kind of stuff could happen over here in the United States, and it, it kind of shoots up a little bit. I don't know about you guys. Well, the U.S. federal government is certainly more entrenched than the ISIS folks are. I mean, the U.S. federal government has been around for decades and has been nothing but, you know, nothing has stopped its advance. Nothing has uh, has slowed its progress towards well, more tyranny. The, yeah, the, the, the biggest danger to the United States government is the United States government. They right. are spending themselves into insolvency. Um, I don't think we're... I don't think that there's much of a chance of us getting on the road to doing whatever is happening in, in, over in Mosul. Robert, thanks for the call tonight. It's interesting you mentioned spending themselves into insolvency, Mark, because... That's actually part of what John Cantley, the very man we just stopped playing that video a moment ago, he's written an article, or at least they claim that Cantley has written an article, an opinion piece, about that very meltdown. In fact, that's what it's called by John Cantley. We're coming up here on Free Talk Live. You can take control. Ugh, cold winter weather. It makes my skin so dry, itchy, and irritated. Can I get some help, please, for this winter skin of mine? Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing has the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available. Its seven moisturizers help heal skin, so you'll stop itching and start feeling relief fast. Ah, my skin feels like it's been on vacation, even with 10 inches of snow outside. Itch-free, worry-free, Cortisone 10. Use as directed. Shiny badges on your jacket. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Kay Oliver is part of the Twayambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, January 18th, 2015. Silver is trading at $17.81 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,280 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $214. Antiwar.com reports, with a new executive order, President Obama created a working group, including the Attorney General and Secretaries of Defense, Homeland Security, Interior, and Treasury, to review the ongoing militarization of civilian police forces across the United States. The group will aim to standardize the Pentagon's 1033 program, through which it gives military surplus gear to police departments nominally for the war on drugs. The use of military equipment against civilians and public protest, as in Ferguson, Missouri last year, has drawn new attention to the program and the review will be carried out with an eye towards deciding which equipment is appropriate to give police and what training they need on civil liberties if they're going to have such weaponry. MRAPs and other armored vehicles have become an increasingly common sight when police decide to go out in force against public dissent and some members of Congress have been trying to get legislation introduced to keep armored vehicles and high caliber rifles along along with grenade launchers out of the hands of local police, since these were clearly never intended to be crowd control devices as they're being deployed. As with other government programs, 1033 has considerable momentum behind it, and a lot of police departments are keen to be given military hand-me-downs, even if they're of no conceivable legal utility in ordinary policing, and will likely fight any serious attempt to reform the program. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. UPI reports Indonesian officials are set to execute six drug offenders by firing squad on Sunday, despite pleas from Amnesty International and other human rights groups to halt the plans. Indonesian President Joko Widodo, elected in October, has rejected pleas from countries that include Brazil and Australia to stop the executions. Widodo said he will take a hard line against drug offenders and plans to put a total of 64 drug convicts to death in the coming months. So far, 20 have been planned. Human rights group Amnesty International pled with the country's leaders to take a different course. Amnesty International leaders said Indonesia's new government took office on the back of promises to improve respect for human rights, but carrying out these executions would be a regressive move. Rather than putting to death more people, the government should immediately impose a moratorium on the use of the death penalty with a view to its eventual abolition. The six to be executed are four men and two women and have been jailed in Indonesia on a variety of drug offenses. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports 31% of Americans believe police officers routinely lie to serve their own interest, and that number rises to 45% among African Americans, 41% among young people, and 39% among Democrats. Republicans reject that charge 3 to 1. Those numbers come from a national poll of Americans conducted by Reuters and the Ipsos polling organization. Still, the image of the police is more controversial than the reality. Asked whether 
whether they approve of the job being done by your local police department, nearly three quarters of Americans say they approve. Do Americans trust the police to be fair and just? 53% do, but that too is a divided issue. Only 30% of African Americans, 43% of young people, and 47% of Democrats say they trust the police to be fair and just. Trust in the police is higher among seniors and Republicans, 67 and 70% respectively. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Clark County paramedics responded to a frantic 911 call from a nearby motel this morning where the Lord our God, a divine creator and ruler of the universe, had been found nude and unconscious following his latest suicide attempt. God, whose sources say had recently grown far more depressed and withdrawn from humanity than usual, reportedly attempted to hang himself from the base of his motel showerhead after ingesting an unknown quantity of Ambien. Motel sources claim that God's room had been left in a state of disarray and revealed that they had found a brief note written by the omnipotent deity, saying that the suicide stems from long periods of unhappiness he had been suffering in recent millennia, including the death of his only child, thousands of years of war and genocide, chronic weight gain, and the aftermath of his messy 15,088 BC divorce. Paramedics say the supreme being had no pulse when they arrived. The Lord's overdose comes in the wake of several widely publicized previous suicide attempts, including a 1985 incident when the Lord leapt from the Grand Canyon but changed into a bird at the last second and flew to safety. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here. We're live on Sunday evening. It's Ian with you. And Mark. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. I don't think I mentioned this tonight, but we do have Skype as well. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. First hour of the show, we focused on the latest propaganda video from the folks calling themselves ISIS, featuring John Cantley, one of their alleged uh, captives taking people through the streets of Mosul on a video that was intended to portray Mosul as a city unlike uh, or just a city like others there's people uh, flitting about doing things there's businesses open for business there's no problem with power being out or garbage in the streets or uh, people, you know, living in fear. That was the message that was being portrayed. You're welcome to share your thoughts with us. Toll free here at 855-450 free. Also, Mark, coming up, you've got a story about a family in Maryland. They're being investigated because they're permissive with their children, allowing them to go outside of the home without their parents. Uh, and we will explain more about that. But first, your calls and thoughts here at 855-450 free. Clint is on the line in Arizona. Clint, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. So about a week ago, I headed into Phoenix. Um, I live in a suburb of Phoenix. Okay. I was going to the Supercross. Uh, my wife and I drove her car over, and as we were pulling up to the stadium, I began to look for parking, and I found a lot that looked pretty good. It was a little bit of a walk, but it uh, looked like it was going to be nice for when we got out as far as leaving quickly and whatnot. And uh Drove around it, couldn't find any no parking signs. Um, there were no parking signs on the street, but uh, to get into the lot, there was a curb, you know, a turn down in the curb. Didn't have to hop a curb or anything to get up on it, and it was uh, had gravel on the lot. Went to the Supercross, enjoyed the show, walked back out um, to see me and probably forty other vehicles. Um, had parking tickets on them. Oh boy! Okay. So, yeah. Well, I was. So, I'm. I, I'm kind of glad because the story could have turned out, and we got our car towed. So go on. Uh, tickets from what? The city of Phoenix. It was city of Phoenix. You know, as we got in the vehicle, I tried to. You know, I wanted to have the rest of the evening go nicely. So I was thinking, okay, it's going to be a fifty to seventy dollar ticket. Um, mm-hmm. I can either fight it or just pay it, and it's mm-hmm. not. You know, not the end of the world, right? Okay. So my wife started reading me. Um, you know, she looked down the list. It's one of these tickets that has 12 different parking offenses. Right. Do they check um, it, or you just have to figure it out? They did check it. Okay, good. Yes. Um, and so mine was for parking on a non, non-dust-free lot. 
<laughs> now, wait a minute. A non-dust-free lot, meaning yes. a lot that has, that has dust. dust. A lot that has dust. It did have gravel, and it had sprinkled that day just the right amount to where there wasn't dust, but it wasn't muddy either. Um, you know, so I took a, a – she read that to me as we were driving out, so I stopped and took a picture of that because um, – she read me the amount, which was two hundred and ninety dollars. God, what? A more than I was expecting. So wait a minute, who's? It's lot? only marginally better than getting your car towed. So hold on. So I'm curious. I mean, this is new to me, right? We live in New Hampshire. I don't know if there's a dust-free uh, lot problem up here or whatever that means. Uh, so we, is this about is this the a, dust, or is yeah, this, this about this is, is this the classification of parking lot? What's that? Is this about dust, or is it about a type of parking lot you're not supposed to be parking in? Um, they, I did a little research online, and it looks like the city of Phoenix made this ordinance, and um, their justification or reasoning is to keep the dust down to avoid EPA fines. Okay. So that that's what the, that's what they're on this where uh just tell me a little more about this area i mean is this actually a parking area or was it a lot that was just sort of an empty gravel lot where a bunch of people decided oh How, what's an know, empty gravel a, lot there's a party they, we call yeah. that a parking lot let's park here it, there's it a big wasn't... thing going on we're gonna park here i mean was, was this an actual parking lot it was an empty gravel lot um with no no gate or no place to have a gate with a curb that led into it off huh. of the side street with no signage of any type. God. I don't know what you're um, supposed to think about an empty gravel lot besides park here. And you said I mean, that there unless was... the gravel's different colors and there's some right. kind of like car mosaic made out of the different colors of gravel. But, but you said no signage, art. no warning, no sign saying no no parking. Parking here will be a violation of the dust free parking zone. Huh ordinance you will be subjected to penalty you had no idea yeah so that's what i was thinking on the way home i thought okay you know i've i've taken a few things to court before and i've been successful um oftentimes so i thought okay i've just got to go back and take some pictures of the area and show that any reasonable person would have felt that this was a reasonable place to park um now, if I would have parked on the street where it was marked no parking, it would have been a $72 fine. <laughs> um, if so, I would have parked where it was a meter parking and the meter ran out, it would have been a $72 fine. Really? 72 bucks it. for the meter running out on you? It's Phoenix. Yeah, it says metered parking number. I'm assuming that means the meter ran out. Um, so tell me something before you go on with the story here. What in Phoenix or Arizona in general – what happens when you challenge a parking ticket? Uh, do they give you, is it court, are there court costs involved in some cities? They want you to pay the fine before they'll let you go to court. Uh, what's the situation? What is the process like there? So I haven't done it before. I was a little concerned because there's a $20 discount. If I pay it within 21 days, it's <laughs> $270. And I felt that, um, I felt that that was a little, uh, sketchy that, uh, I wouldn't be able to contest it and get that uh, that discount. But I did look. If I do file a contest within 21 days, I also get the $20 discount. So wow, okay. so they're they're good on that. Um, so you don't know. Sister, just to clarify, I thought you said you'd gone through court before. So you don't know about oh, the court in general or the just the parking ticket situation. Yeah, not the parking. I've been through court for running a yellow light. Do you know if, light if and, there are court costs involved in Arizona? I don't believe so. Now, my sister-in-law, um, she parked in front of her house in a residential neighborhood, and she parked against the traffic, you know, mm -hmm. the wrong direction. Yep. She got a ticket, and she went to court, and when she went into court, um, the whole court was filled with people with the same parking ticket as her. This is in a different city in Gilbert. Okay. Um, for her, the judge, um, you know, right at the beginning announced that, Nobody that brought a parking ticket before him was going to, uh, you know, that he was not going to budge on any parking tickets, which <laughs> is very interesting that he would make up his decision. Before right, he prior to hearing the evidence in the case. That's nice, Judge. Wish I could have gotten that one now on camera. I, 
I do think, if I recall the story right, he did offer a reduced fee. Sure, they don't want um, you to take it to trial. They're, they're it, trying to it, reduce it, the fee it, all over the place to encourage you to just just pay it, buddy. So what are you yeah, going to do? Did, what, what's your decision here? Okay, so I've read a little bit, and actually I've read other people that were in the same situation that took pictures and showed that they had no idea of knowing. And um, they went to court and never did it work out in their favor. Of course not. They'll claim mm -hmm. ignorance of the law is no excuse, and that's all they need to say. Because Which your... seems like it would work for like murder or something like that, but ignorance of parking what looks like you could park seems yeah, wrong. It should be an yeah. excuse. But well, it... if they do say those terms and you happen to be in court, then you say, I don't think that a 12th century maxim that was created under uh, common law really applies in a nation where it would take me four lifetimes to read all the laws. Yeah, oh, I'd love to get that on video. Clint, good luck with your uh, parking ticket. I appreciate the story hey, tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, it's interesting, and I, you know, I love the idea of people challenging the system and throwing them, you know, sort of throwing themselves in uh, as a, a wrench into the gears, so to speak. Unfortunately, in a place like Phoenix, you know, you're, you're just one guy. And there's probably more than one district court in a place like Phoenix. I mean, there's that's a big city. Here in New Hampshire, we actually have activists re regularly taking things like parking tickets to court, at least here in the Keene area. And th that actually adds up to where it gets very frustrating for them, and they'll end up dropping the charges. There's more coming up. 855-450 free. You take control on Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Helen. About almost three decades ago this fall, little creatures appeared in my consciousness. Little creatures? They, they introduced themselves to me as Matilda and Mumford Rabbit. Huh. They come from a higher planet, you know, more spiritually evolved. Uh, Matilda Rabbit has a habit of using God's gift of free speech. Matilda Rabbit has a habit of snoring in her sleep. <laughs> But not before she does implore the Lord is soul to keep. Is it the same God? Oh yeah, they, they uh, Jesus is their uh, word and way on all. Planes, why would they? they what, why would they care about Jesus? They don't even live on this planet, right? How would they um, even know? Because Jesus, G Jesus was on our earth, right? Well, Jesus is not on this planet alone. He's everywhere. Did he? Really? Did he die on a cross in um, you know outside of Jerusalem and the other planets too? Free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN. FM. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday edition. And, of course, you can bring up anything you'd like at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features there. You can actually create the content right there on the front page of the website. Go and get interactive for free at freetalklive.com. If you need common legal documents, and we all do at some point in life, you can go get them at legalzoom.com. There's a list of documents here that you can create there. They'll ask you some simple questions and put them together for you. That is longer than I can read. Uh, For instance, not-for-profit filings, uh, LLCs, business annual reports, Patents, trademarks, living wills, living trust, wills, DUI, DWIs. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, can you file that on your own? I, I, you go there to LegalZoom.com, and they can take care of it for you. It's LegalZoom.com. If you use coupon code FTL, that's FTL as in Free Talk Live, you'll save 10 bucks on your order. LegalZoom.com. Coming up, one family's under investigation in Maryland, according to Mark and Free Range Kids, for allowing their children to go out of the house unaccompanied. Uh, some parents apparently think that's a problem, and someone's investigating as a result. We'll tell Somebody you always that. thinks it's a problem. Yeah, let's go to the phones first, though. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. Nick is listening in Charleston, South Carolina. Nick, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, um, how is your liberty position different from anarchy? Do you try to change within the system? Or are you shortcutting any laws that you don't like? And I'll listen off the air. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I, I have to know what shortcutting the laws that I don't like means. Oh, he's gone, Mark. I didn't hang up. That was him. He dropped okay. off. Um, I will ignore laws I don't like. Yes. I, uh, For instance, if I come up to a uh, red light and it's dark, you know, it's nighttime and nobody's on the road and I can see clearly that no one's coming, I'll just go right ahead, right ahead and go through that light. Yeah. I, um, I think that... I've smoked pot, too. <laughs> I think that... I, 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 you know, I, I look at laws as, um, you know, somebody's interpretation of morality, and sometimes they get it right and sometimes they get it wrong. I'm only going to care insofar as I'm going to do what I consider to be moral, not what I consider to be legal. Um, like, for instance, I, I, I think that my way of conducting myself is infinitely better than, say, how politicians uh, conduct themselves. They'll do what's uh, they, they write the laws. Then they don't care anything about them mm-hmm. about laws or morality. So um, you know what's the difference between the liberty position and anarchy? Well, uh, depends on how you define anarchy. I guess uh, many some people will define yeah. anarchy as uh, you know pe- people peacefully coexisting or whatever. I don't think that's the popular definition of it. I think the popular definition of anarchy is uh, people in black masks usually European, throwing Molotov cocktails at uh, storefronts. Um, it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, there are some much anarchists. Of, a, much of anarchist thought has to do with sort of communism. That's what I was about to say. Is there are uh, you know different thought lines within anarchism. I also don't much care for that term because of the connotations that it has. And I also like the idea of if I'm going to apply a term to myself, and I generally, uh, I generally understand and appreciate the people who prefer not to but if i am going to apply a term to myself i'll use the term voluntarist because it's 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 a word that defines you by what you stand for as opposed to a word like anarchy which would define you by what you stand against anarchy would be uh, you know a hyphen archy the lack of rulers essentially that's what the terminology is but i mean i also find it to be 
sort of grammatically unsatisfying. Mm -hmm. uh, no rulers mean this means that you don't rule yourself. Um, That's silly. Right. When there's uh, the term auto, which would be auto, um, uh, auto archy. One self. Yeah, that would be a self ruler. So really, what anarchists mean is auto archists. But depends who you ask. Not every anarchist would say that, right? If you don't rule yourself, you're going to lay on the floor and flip around. Well, right. the anarcho you must rule yourself. The anarcho-communists don't believe in property, so so how can you own yourself? Is that the the yeah. statement? Okay, I mean that's a that's a deeper conversation that we need to have here. Um, you know, we're not anarcho-communists on this show, nor nor I would used I to used, be in high school. Nor would I define myself as an, an anarchist either. Again, I like the term voluntarist. It stands for. I the, just use the term libertarian. Yeah, a lot voluntarist uh, means that you know I think that you should be free to live your life how you want, so long as you don't hurt anybody else. You, a voluntarist is. Uh, is very similar to a libertarian, and just one of the differences being that I think libertarian is a little more debased, meaning that people like uh, Glenn Beck or Neil Bortz, uh, Dennis Miller, for instance, these are all people who will flirt with and use the term libertarian to sort of differentiate themselves from the rest of the kind of conservative talk show host uh, crew out there. And I, I don't want to necessarily have people think about me in the same range as thinking about people like that who support war, for instance. I don't support war, and uh, I don't want to be in well, the same camp as those I'll guys. I'll support the just war if you can show it to me. Um, I don't care. I still don't support taxing people to go to war. I don't care how just it is. If it's a just idea, then you should sign up on your own and, and go join up and you know find someone else to pay you, because I don't want to. That's fine. Um, that was, I don't think really what people are considering when they are considering wars. Um, well, that's what I think when is it comes what to a libertarian governance. would consider. Is it being coerced? Because if it's, if it's being coerced in that the payment for it is coerced, then it's, it's immoral. It's fine. wrong. Um, I'm more interested in you know, conflicts, uh, people, armed conflicts, uh, you know, and how they're they're conducted. But I would say that when it comes to governance, um, I believe that people should be able to pick their governments. I think that there's going to be a new paradigm in government come along. It is ludicrous to think that we're going to operate under a republic like Rome. I mean, you're talking about a concept that's 3,000 years old. Surely there's a new technology in government that's going to come along, some new way of conducting things. And I would contend that with uh, com increased communication like the Internet, that you could have your own government in the same way you have your own car insurance or your own cell phone plan. That some company could cover you, protect you from you know the ills of things going on. They might be regionally based, but they don't have to claim to own all the land like governments currently do. Governments currently claim that... Sta monopolies don't work while they are, in fact, a monopoly. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Kyle is in Michigan. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Kyle. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I had a question about, because um, we all are familiar with the, 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 uh, the end fighting within libertarianism or whatever you want to call it, anarchism. You guys were just kind of kind of talking about it with uh, anarcho-communism, but my kind of question or thing I want to bring up is, I mean, I don't, I mean, yeah, you're going to have your own philosophy or, like you just said, your own government that you want or way of living, whether it be a commune or whatever you want it to be. And, I mean, sometimes I just get frustrated with people just like, oh, well, I don't agree with your economic philosophy or not philosophy, but just what you think of how the economy should be and People like, well, my philosophy is better than yours, and yours sucks, and this whole man. Yeah, there is a big uh, libertarian penis measuring contest that uh, that goes on constantly, and it's pretty frustrating. I don't care what your philosophy is, as long as you don't want to force it on me. Uh, you can have right. whatever philosophy you want. What I love to talk to people, sort of the main, more mainstream uh, people with more mainstream philosophies about the ideas of their economics. Oh, this won't work, or that won't work. You can't claim it won't work. You can't claim the ideas of liberty won't work because no one's ever been allowed to try them. There are organizations out there that claim monopoly privilege on the use of violence in a given land mass. We call them states or governments, and those organizations will come harm you and your family if you attempt to live outside their paradigm. That's that's why you don't know whether this will work or not. we got plenty of time for you with your calls. Thank you, Kyle, for making the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It's the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Coming up, the kids who are under investigation, the family under investigation for their kids uh, going out and about on their own. Is that bad parenting? It's Free Talk Live. 
Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make it. Wait, no. now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. If you're struggling to pay or haven't been making your student loan payments, listen carefully to this urgent alert. Have you been out of school for 10 or more years and you're still making your student loan payments? Are your student loans past due or even in default? Can't go back to school because of an old student loan problem? Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. One quick 10-minute call could help you solve your student loan problems. So call right now. Not available in all states. Payments may vary based on income. 800-215-6813-800-215-6813-800-215-6813-800-215-6813. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it is the live Sunday edition. Of course, we'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss. All you have to do is dial us up toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Still to come, Mark has the story about the family that is under investigation in Maryland for allowing their kids to go out on their own. Something that happened all the time when I was a kid, but apparently now it's dangerous. It's scary. And the parents need to be investigated. We'll give you more about that here in a few moments. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. The Skype username here is lrn.fm. Let's go to the phones. To the fun, Al's in Bangor, Maine. You're on Free Talk Live, Al. 
Abandon all hope of freedom and liberty in the future, gentlemen. Especially if you get in control, Al. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight. This is the end phase of American civilization, a time of decadence and decay, when every man seeks to do what is right in his own mind, not to obey universal laws. And last night, it was something of a comedy show you had on with uh, Lionel. And uh, every caller was saying, yes, there is a conspiracy. And Lionel was saying, uh, there is a conspiracy. And in, in turn, you denounce people as uh, conspiracy theorists. And the plain fact is that uh, they are imposing this uh, system of values, which ultimately leads to tyranny. Who? Who's imposing a system of values leading to tyranny? I mean, I definitely see the uh, the direction of the United States and a lot of other places in the world being not so freedom-friendly. I mean, there's certainly an argument that the police state is on the rise. I tend to agree with that argument, uh, that I think that we are in a police state here and that tyranny is here. It's just a softer tyranny than, uh, than you know, some might envision when they think about tyranny. It ain't Nigeria. Uh, so uh, what were you getting at there? Go ahead. Well, the ones that uh, seek to destroy all nations in order to bring about a global domination of a one-world government. In the instruments they do this is false ideology in art, music, and literature. The biggest weapon that they have is rock and roll. And <laughs> is it rock and roll dead? You laugh. You laugh. It's rock and roll has been dead for years. Dead. It's an embarrassed <laughs> laughter because you know it's true. Okay, He's who's living in 1970? Wait, wait a second. You got to tell me who's producing rock and roll today, because I, I don't think we're on the same page as to what rock and roll is. Oh, certainly. There's still it's, classic uh, rock stations, Mark. The, the same ones who seek global domination. Remember, in the 50s, we had respect for women, motherhood, and and women. But the very first song, rock and roll song, was by Elvis Presley. And what did he sing about women? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Uh, that, I don't think that's about a woman. That's a hound dog. No, would be that a, was about a, a woman. Uh, I it? think we should take his word for it, yeah. simply because neither right. one of us are uh, Elvis uh, look, experts. Look, the origin of rock and roll is in voodoo. Okay, that's where the... I'm not going to dispute any of that. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so rock wait, and roll. Wait, wait really? Wait, You're wait, not going to dispute that it's I, voodoo? Based? I don't think that that's. Uh, yeah, but if you're having an argument that was based in the 1970s, then it's not worth having the argument anymore because we can look 40 years later and see what the results are. So oh, indeed we I, here's can. what I need. Here's what I need you to show me. Who is the most recent producer? And by producer, I mean singer, of a rock and roll song that is leading us to tyranny. Because I, I just don't know who these people... I don't know if you call Katy rock Perry. and roll... Shush! <laughs> you call rock and roll the same thing I call That's rock and roll. That's a good point. Oh, sure. It uh, it becomes progressively more degenerate as time goes on. It was relatively innocent. But then you have it, it goes into different genres. Innocent. Uh, I mean, Elvis was gyrating his hips. I mean, it was pretty clear oh, what he was getting at there, right? Now, Mark, you uh, you asked him a question, and he dodged it. Uh, can you ask again? Maybe he wasn't listening. What are these uh, – tell me who these singers are that are today producing rock and roll. Oh, take Taylor Swift, for example. Okay, so Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift is producing rock and roll, all right. Oh, uh, she's a direct attack on the culture, the values of the culture. Okay. See, I don't. I, I know nothing of this music. I don't listen to music. She was it a just does, uh, country singer. Yeah, Mark, a country singer that went went more pop. pop I would say. I would. Call She's her the reason the country singer. ceased to be the t the number one form, uh, the number one uh, radio format in the nation last year. Really? Yeah, her switch over to pop. What's now, the number one it, format? Go uh, back. Uh, AC. How do you want to understand the origin of? Uh, understand something. You look at its origin. Tell me more about this full, voodoo thing, because that's what I want to know. Well, look, you talk about freedom. The zombies in Haiti were part of the voodoo culture. They were created by voodoo. Now, what were the zombies, gentlemen, originally? Do you have any idea? I what don't they know were? what you're talking uh, about. These are people that were controlled by sort of chemicals. They were drugged out of their minds and whole. Yeah, voodoo. Yeah, but why? Uh, because slave masters have always been afraid of slaves uprising against them? No. Oh, okay. The slave, I knew I'd be wrong. The slave couldn't work continuously, but when he was robbed of his soul through voodoo music, he was turned into a zombie, 
or you're laughing. You are he is so laughing. superstitious. Yes. It's so ridiculous. Listen, now, what is this? How does listen, this have to do? What does this have to do with Haiti versus rock and roll? Elvis Presley. How do you it's make the connection? I want to know if I can play Zudu Vambi music out of my car Zudu and like control music. Could control what? all the women in town it or something. Not, it is not the music of freedom. It's all not right. worthy. Listen, the zombies were created. So they could work in the sugar plantations 24 hours a day. I don't know what you're talking about. I, Mark, you've actually been to Haiti. Did you see any zombies when you were down there? I'm, I couldn't say I stayed very long. I was there for like 36 hours or something. Okay, okay but um, no obvious zombies. The zombie when were is, the, have the, are the zombies still in Haiti? The zombie is the ideal worker. It has become a metaphor for the American people. You look at the popularity of the zombie. So wait, was a, are zombies a metaphor, or did zombies actually exist in Haiti, according to you, Al? You need to clear uh, the, this up. The zombies, and if you ask African Americans and the Haitians, they what? actually existed. Why would an African American, uh, which is a terrible term for an, a very indescriptive term, I presume you're talking about black people who live in the United States, uh, why would they know anything about the zombies in Haiti? Because it's part of voodoo. What makes maybe, you think the average black person knows a thing about voodoo, sir? That sounds like a very racist statement to me. That's a very naive comment. It's, the, it's referred to as hoodoo in the South, and every black American knows about it. I heard it was called that's roots. The, that's the origin of rock and roll. It's the most destructive force in our civilization. Tell so me, would you say you're racist, Al? I mean, because it sounds to me like you're putting the blame on, you're saying that black people created rock and roll and that's the most destructive force on earth? No, no. The devil created rock and roll and it's used to rob man of his freedom. <laughs> and, and it's not, I'm telling you. And I imagine said, you'd like to prohibit rock and roll, wouldn't you? Uh, rock and roll, Plato said that you can induce a revolution simply by changing the music. This is Plato writing 2,500 years ago. Mm. He's absolutely correct. He said by changing the rhythm... Well, uh, V and V for Vendetta up. said that a revolution without music is one worth uh, one not worth having, or some paraphrase Well, of it's um, menticide is another word so for it. So what would you like great. to see happen with rock and roll? Let's get to the, the, uh, the down and dirty here, Alan uh, Bangor. What would you like to see? I mean, you believe clearly okay. that rock and roll is the most evil form for of music reason, out there. You look in, in the commercials, the worse a product is, and you can do a little scientific experiment by yourself, the worse a product is, the louder the rock music. Have you ever okay? experimented by yourself, Al? You cannot go you <laughs> cannot go into a department store or any store in the US, any public space in the US, without hearing the African drums of voodoo. And it's you. That is the craziest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. What are well, what you talking about? Your own, about? Show? Your own show. Uh, we we got rid of the uh, the the hard rock liners, and we just yeah, have we some used to. some sort of let, let your audience beds. let your audience decide. Is there any African drumming? Will they hear African <laughs> drums on your show? Of course, it's everywhere in the U.S. It's used to destroy us, and I'll leave it at that. No, don't leave us. I, you're on a roll tonight, Al. I want to know what you want to do about rock and roll. I mean, are, are you? I mean, you're a Is member. Is that African drumming there? Rock and roll must be banned as public enemy Bam. number one in preparation for. Uh, how about new, a good old-fashioned disc burning? <laughs> For, for our new glorious civilization. Thanks for the Again. call, Al. You think is he for real? I think our is new he? glorious uh, civilization does um, square dancing. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. You can take control. Bring up anything you want. Might as well just ban all drum sets because that's really one of the basics of rock and roll. More coming up. For 20 years, you've trusted Lumber Liquidators for the best deals on the best selection of floors. Well, this week, get even more deals in our January flooring sale. One beautiful hardwood, get pre-finished solid hardwood from $189. How about gorgeous bamboo that's twice as hard as oak? We've got strand bamboo for $219. Looking for top quality laminate? This week, get almost half off our thickest and best laminate, plus other great flooring deals and 18-month special financing. Don't wait. The January flooring sale's going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. DB 
DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fuse with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday edition. You may take control of the airwaves. Doesn't matter what sort of craziness you're going to spew. We'll let you do it right here. 855-450-FREE. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we have waiting for you there on the site. If you enjoy Free Talk Live and you want to help us out, then we'd love for you to become a Free Talk Live amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. You go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can get signed up there for 5 bucks a month. That money we invest into Free Talk Live. We use it to get Free Talk Live on more radio stations, to bring more Internet listeners on board, expand our satellite footprint, and it works. We've got a lot more listeners now thanks to the AMP program and uh, more radio stations than ever, over 150 stations. So you can help us out. 
getting more by going to amp.freetalklive.com. And you get perks like access to the Amp Only Facebook group, the Amp Only Forum, podcast, and more. Go get the details. Get signed up. Any major credit card through PayPal or Visa or MasterCard right through our website at amp.freetalklive.com. Moments ago, we had Al in Bangor with one of his craziest calls yet. Uh, he has called previously to tell us about how he is a prohibitionist. He you know, is a member of the Prohibitionist Party. And for those of you who don't, don't recall, the prohibitionists were the ones responsible for, well, prohibition uh, back in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, they've since fallen out of favor by quite a bit. And uh, so Al is just sort of the one of the few remaining people who thinks like this. I, I wonder how many people share Al's viewpoints, especially as he's gone off the even further into the deep end tonight, saying that you can't well, walk into any store in America without hearing the devil's African beating drums in your head. Yeah, he sounded pretty racist tonight. <laughs> Uh, basically saying that uh, that black people are the source of uh, rock and roll, which rock and roll is the most evil form of some of evil or something in you the world. Might uh, uh, I don't know if I, t I will take that stance. I would, uh, however, what stance? That that I hope what you don't take any of Al's stances. Not necessarily racist. It's it just sure sounded racist. He was blaming uh, it's just black nuts. people. <laughs> And uh, blaming zombies in Haiti if, for if he said, uh, rock and roll. If he said it was polka music, he wouldn't be blaming Polish people for it. Let's go to Doug. He's in Columbia listening. That's uh, Columbia, South Carolina, listening to WQXL. Hello, Doug. Hey, guys. Good to talk to you again. Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Well, I am I'm a singer and a drummer, and uh -oh. I'm a metalhead. Yeah. And uh, my last project... Um, the last substantial project was about five years ago. We released an album called Soundtrack of the Revolution. The band was called Down Count, and I was a singer on that project and uh, one of the primary writers. And I, even though I have seen instances of where music, lyrics, content, um, popular trends, that kind of thing, has been used to influence society, it's more about the lyrical content and following the crowd than it is about um, some beats in a song, <laughs> drum styles, things like that. It's not the music, it's the message it conveys. Mm -hmm. So don't label, it's just like when I was growing up and I was in the church and everybody was saying that rock and roll was evil just because it was rock and roll. Well, it's not that. It's the message that it portrays. And there are bands out there like Living Sacrifice that are Christian that play hardcore metal. It's not yeah. about the sound. It's not about the drums. It's about the message that is conveyed through the lyrics. And I don't think a but lot. What of about it. zombies? Uh, <laughs> no Al, about Al was contending that music, the, 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 the drums <laughs> turn you into zombies. Yeah. Well, if that were the case, I would have been a zombie a long time ago because I've been playing Wait. since I was 11 years old. And zombies I'm don't know that they're not zombies. Well, maybe I'm Persuasive. just living in a dream world for all I know, but uh, <laughs> I tend to think I'm a little beyond that, and my lyrics of the last album we did tend to convey that I have some type of critical thinking skill, so yeah, I tend not to believe that. <laughs> right on, Doug. Thanks for calling tonight. appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. John's in Tallahassee listening to WVFT-FM. Hello, John. Hey, how y'all doing? Go ahead with your thoughts. Doing great. Um. Yeah, that guy, he's He's crazy. Um, You're not exactly going out on a limb here, John. Yeah. It depends on the individual. I mean, if you're doing drugs, if you're doing mushrooms and drinking uh, gallons of alcohol, maybe the music might make you do something crazy. Hold or on a moment here. Crazy. Now, I would not recommend combining mushrooms with alcohol. I just, I know some people do it, but I just don't think it's a good combination. You're, you're using a, essentially a depressant. Uh, with a psychedelic, and it just doesn't seem like it would result in some really ideal circumstances. And really, I mean, alcohol, you're right. It certainly does encourage people to do some really crazy things. Alcohol is one of the hardest drugs uh, known to man, no doubt about it. Right. That's what I'm saying. It depends on the individual, whether they're already nuts or not. I, I'm a metalhead myself, and I've been writing music for over 20-something years, and I don't want to go out and kill anybody <laughs> or turn into a zombie or do any of those things that guy is talking about. And thank God that guy is not in charge of anything, or we'd <laughs> all be hung already. I mean, this, I, 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 people like that are just – they open your mind or something, you know. I, 
Oh, man. What would it take to to get Al in Bangor, Maine to open his mind in any significant manner? I don't know. I mean, because you don't want to force mushrooms on somebody. Obviously, a a good mushroom journey uh, would help somebody like Al, I think. But, you know, you can't force that stuff on people. It'd be hard to imagine it would hurt him. Yeah, no doubt. John, uh, anything else you want to share tonight? No, that's pretty much all I had to say. (laughs) Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Toll free number. Of course, all the rockers are going to call in and deny it. Deny, deny, deny. Just like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, I that that was one of the craziest calls we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was in the top twenty. I guess uh, uh, either uh, you know like, a lot of crazy calls. Either we badgered him to the point that he just kind of went off the rails. No, he and was came out with it. That's what, he be- that's what he really things. believes. <laughs> But he really believes that. He sits up in his bungalow or in Maine or wherever it is he is. and yeah, That's what they got in Maine, bungalows. Yeah. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Jesse. He's in Albuquerque. Jesse, you're on Free Talk Live. I presume it's a male, but I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's a female. Jesse, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Um, well, I'm a little bit late to the game, but uh, I've been to some of the callers and... Uh, the first one... Do me a favor before I'm you go on. The... Before you go on, back up from your phone like, I don't know, an inch. Okay. All right, go um, ahead. The first caller sounded like he was a little, I don't know, repressed, like from his family or something, talking about the voodoo and everything. <laughs> and the second caller sounded kind of legit, and this last guy was pretty much out there. But as far as rock and roll goes, I mean, if they want to like, make an argument, uh, the original god of music was Pan, and Pan was a centaur way back in the day. And that's that's back in Greek mythology. He's a satyr. Uh, yeah, exactly, a satyr. There you go. My bad. But um, if they want to come to the, to the forefront, like back to now, uh, uh, to today, um, the only there's only one actual music that actually can change your train of thought, and that's um, I don't remember the exact uh, category, but it's a form of uh, the, it's like the techno kind of uh, genre of music, where uh, they've actually put in it's some kind of computer program. It's not meant for people to do bad, but more for them to be. And uh, look into a, a, a more euphoric state. Mm. And, you're thinking of, I think you're thinking of uh, binaural beats. Yeah, they're exa- they're exactly. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. And, Have you tried that before? Roll, no, sir, but um, I've had a friend. He had an album for a while, and it's this album had a warning on the actual... It is a vinyl album. The actual album had a warning on it. It said... <laughs> and this was on the album, so it's, it's on vinyl. And it said... Do not listen to his music while operating heavy machinery mm. or driving, and it will induce – it was some kind of a weird state. And I had talked to my buddy. I was like, bro, let me borrow this album. He's like, no, man, you can't borrow it. I was like, why not? He's like, oh, man, it's not for everybody. I said, that's why I want to listen to it. <laughs> but um, – and then I have a, another buddy. He's actually – So wait, he wouldn't let you um, borrow it? <laughs> no, he would not let me borrow the album. And I, and I, I hung with him for months, and he would not let me borrow this album. Wow. And – and um, I have another buddy who's actually into that type of music. Uh, his name is um, he, he, goes, he goes right here to, to UNM, and he's actually he's uh, he's a scientist, but he's changing his um, his field of study to music, where he knows how to put these beats together to cause uh, different states of um, different states of being. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, people some of the some people swear by it. I remember we had a long time ago there was I don't know where they were advertising, but I remember there was some advertising. I don't know if they were on GCN or whatever, but they were offering a product like this with these binaural beats where you'd get a CD and um yeah, I, I couldn't say that it really did much for me. The idea was it was supposed to put you to sleep at night or something like that or or that there would it, there were different ones, I guess. So one of them was supposed yeah, to produce euphoria. I'm not saying that it's uh it's unbelievable. I just, you know, it didn't do much for me, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't have a more serious effect on somebody else. It's interesting. Thank you, Jesse, for the call tonight. And, you know, if you've looked at, there's some interesting footage online of, um, like, where they put the, I don't know what it is, like, sand or something like that over top of a speaker. And then the speaker, they turn it up to different frequencies. And oh, yeah. the sand changes patterns. Like it, it's amazing. It sh- shifts into very intricate, very beautiful, stunning patterns with different frequencies of sound. So there's a lot we don't understand. More coming up, it's Free Talk Live. 
For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. Cabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, January 16th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,262, silver at $17.05, and Bitcoin is trading around $216.58. Today's Bitcoin price is brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather, from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food, to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. In the news, the location is New York where it was revealed during day three of the Silk Road trial that Department of Homeland Security agent Jared Duryagin, at one point in his involvement in the Silk Road investigation, suspected disgraced Mt. Gox CEO Mark Carpolese and his right-hand man, Ashley Barr, of being the masterminds behind Silk Road. His suspicions led to his signing of an affidavit stating that he had probable cause to get a warrant to search Carpolese emails. Duryagin also expressed frustration with a parallel Baltimore, Maryland investigation that seized money from Carpolese, associated with alleged illegal money transfer business, tipping him off to the fact that there was a government investigation underway. It was also revealed that Carpolese's attorney told Maryland investigators he wanted to make a deal that he would say who he thought was behind Silk Road in exchange for immunity. Carpolese, in a statement to Motherboard, denied any involvement with the Deep Web website. A federal study released by the National Academy of Sciences has concluded that there is no effective alternative to the government's practice of mass data collection of digital communications. The report said no software-based technique can fully replace the bulk collection of signals intelligence. The authors called for limits on how the data is viewed and used, but not in limiting how much information is collected. The committee behind the report said stopping or slowing data collection will deprive analysts of necessary information. Countering the report, the ACLU said supporting continued bulk data collection would be a mistake. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by WatchMyBit.com, the first ever micropayment-based video service. If you're a content creator, visit WatchMyBit.com to learn how you can use Bitcoin to generate revenue for your art. That's WatchMyBit.com. 
This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, January 16th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. An investigation by the Washington Times has found that nonprofit organizations funded by billionaire George Soros helped fund protests in Ferguson and contributed to social media campaigns. The Times reports the Open Society Foundations gave at least $33 million in grants to a number of groups involved in grassroots activism following the shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Some groups monitored and exploited news events that they could portray as a conservative misstep. The groups use shared content and buzzwords to create a social media echo chamber of Facebook likes and Twitter hashtags that would garner media attention. Kenneth Zimmerman, the director of the Open Society Foundation's U.S. programs, said the groups were funded by Soros through the foundation, but stressed the nonprofit did not have the ability to control or dictate what others say or choose to say. The former mayor of Aguala, Mexico, has been charged in the kidnapping of 43 students who have been missing since September of 2014. Former Mayor Jose Luis Abarca Thomas Zeron, Director of Criminal Investigations at the Federal Attorney General's Office, stated that a warrant had been issued for Abarca's arrest and 44 other officials. The student's disappearance has been connected to local police working with a drug gang in collaboration with the mayor and his wife. The Liberty Beat is sponsored in part by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat. For Friday, January 16th, 2015, I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. This is the Onion Week in Review. Citing his erratic social behavior, nondescript occupation, and habit of accidentally walking off piers while pretending to read newspapers, acquaintances of 37-year-old Jeff Walther suspect he may be a bumbling spy. Residents of Worcester, Massachusetts are kind of hoping a Panera Bread will show up and plow over an obnoxious neighborhood bakery. Locals have said that the soulless restaurant chain with its simple, impersonal experience would be just the thing to help run the precious mom-and-pop establishment out of business. Callahan's is really lovely and all, but it would be such a relief to have some college-aged kid take my order without making eye contact. I just need a cup of coffee. You know, we're not friends. A follow-up survey of Worcester residents confirmed that 72% of patrons would rather be alerted of an order by a vibrating pager than a kind-faced woman who calls everybody sweetheart. In other news, feds break up a brutal Las Vegas man-fighting ring. A Christmas card ominously makes no mention of the twins. And the Boy Scouts celebrate 100 years of preparing teens for not having cool friends. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition of the program. Coming up, Maryland, an investigation has ensued against a family that has allowed their children to leave the house unsupervised. Something that we all did, I'm pretty sure, as kids in our day. At least I know I certainly did. But apparently now it could be illegal. At least that's what the government might want you to think. We'll uh, get into the story from the Free Range Kids, which is a great website. Mark, you This isn't that. from Free Range Kids. Oh, I'm sorry. This I asked a, you earlier, and you said it was. I, I, I thought you were asking me if it's about Free Range Kids, which, oh, of course— Oh, no. Is, I thought you found it on Free Range Kids. I apologize. Well, it sounds like something that would appear on Free Range it's Kids. It's probably on Free Range Kids. However, ah, this okay. story is not from Free Range Kids. Gotcha. Well, we'll get into that. Your calls and thoughts are welcome here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Still a great website, the Free Range Kids site. Uh, good blog. We'll go first to your calls and thoughts, though. Tom's in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Tom with Ian and Mark. Yeah, here's a good question for the status. The, uh, some politicians, nanny state politicians and voters who go from one extreme to the other in the space of 10 seconds. And that is, first, they want to protect Johnny Junkie from destroying himself. He's a junkie. He's get hooked on cocaine. We, we don't want to let him destroy himself. We, we've got to uh, use the full power of the state to protect him from himself. Or Mr. and Mrs. Twenty, the outvoted discrimination victims who uh, might drink themselves 
to death or, or destroy themselves with alcohol. We've got to protect them. Okay, now that's the one extreme. And then when the cops swarm in and one of these uh, targets of nanny state protection borrows the cop's gun to settle the matter out of court, now all of a sudden they want to destroy the person. Is there some halfway in between where you just leave them alone and maybe they destroy themselves, which saves you the trouble of destroying them, right. and they leave your cops alone? That would be know, a nice idea. Way in between? I would you love know, to, like, ha to have a world where the police leave uh, drug users and alcohol users alone, let them have their own vices, and let people who actually care about them uh, intercede. If somebody's going to intercede in their life and, and you know have some kind of an intervention, then it should not be armed men. It should be people who care and are connected to that, that individual. Thank you for the unless call Unless they're tonight, harming Tom. somebody else directly. Sure. Well, I mean, obviously, if your you know drunken dad is beating his kids, someone should step in and, and physically stop that from happening. But uh, but yeah, if, if all they're doing is taking drugs to their own detriment or uh, drinking to their own detriment, then it should be the people who care about that person uh, who step into the situation. Your thoughts are welcome here. 855 450 free. So, Mark, what's the story out of Maryland and where is it coming from again? From USA Today. OK. Silver Spring, Maryland, a couple being investigated for child neglect because they allow their children to roam fl freely in their neighborhood, says the parenting. They say their parenting style is unfairly under assault. In many ways, the Mirtiv family. Have you ever had a website just change what it looks like on you while you're on it? No, that sounds a little unusual. I'm wondering what what happened here. I, I I'm completely befuddled. So you've lost uh, the story then. Yeah, I was just reading it, and it disappeared as I was uh, reading it. So maybe a back button will fix things, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to give me a second. Okay, well, is it possible that you could, I mean, did you have a chance to really kind of get, uh, I guess, digest the story previous? To yeah, yeah, I did. Um, so this family has a 10 and a 6-year-old, and they... Um, you know, they they let them. They've got a bedtime. They're not allowed to eat too many sweets. Their screen time is limited, like you, so many other kids are. And it, you know, uh, just a real quick headline: Maryland parents investigated for letting kids walk alone. Yeah, I've got it back here? up, but uh, it keeps on resetting. I've got it right here. Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, so this com uh, couple, they say the Meltiv family is very traditional in My many ways. Meltiv. Oh, there's, that there's, is a mitiv. That's not an L. You're right. Mitiv family. They eat dinner together every night. How common is that these days? Pretty uncommon, I would, I would say. But so. it is, I believe, the single best way to, uh, for you know, a correlative to kids having a very successful life. Oh, I agree. I think it's a good approach. And I just don't think it really is uh, very common because so so many parents are so busy. Uh, their kids have fixed bedtimes. They do chores and have limits on their sweets and screen time. But the parents are under investigation because they let their kids walk around the neighborhood together, unaccompanied by an adult. Danielle and Sasha Mitiv say the investigation is an invasion of their privacy and infringes on their rights as parents. Uh, one of them, Danielle, says, I grew up in New York City in the 70s and nobody hesitated to let their kids walk around. The only thing that's changed between then and now is our fear, said the mother. It's absolutely true. I know that I was out on my bicycle on our little dead end street in Bradenton, uh, 20th Street, and, uh, you know, just doing my thing in kindergarten. I know I was. I remember uh, how old I was when the training wheels came off and mm -hmm. the whole thing. And, I, you know, when the training wheels came off, I was allowed to go to the next street over, which meant that I got to go on the very busy 55th Avenue, which, you know, cars rarely went down. But it okay. was much busier than our dead end street in which we could play ball and that kind of thing. Um, and where my friend was, he lived on the next street over. So, I mean, I remember this is a six-year-old walking with a 10-year-old. So she has the equivalent of a babysitter. Now, we're not talking about a six-year-old wandering around the, the neighborhood by herself. I'm pretty sure I was out and about by myself at age six. I'm pretty sure I was, too, um, at least late six. How's that? I mean, that's first grade. Um, you know, I, I had friends in the neighborhood at by the time I was in kindergarten. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I was going over to their house. I mean, I don't recall. Maybe my parents would say differently that, oh, yeah, we manually took you to their house. But I feel like I had a lot of independence very, very early on. I, th I feel like it was relatively common. And the idea that you would 
keep a six-year-old from going with a 10-year-old, I think is nuts. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, whatever has happened, I'm certain something's happened to this country, and I'm certain it's not good. Well, I like what the mom says here. Danielle says it's the, the fear that has changed. And is it really based in anything? No, because uh, people are safer now than they've ever been before. There's less violence in the world in the United States than ever before. I don't know about Maryland, but in a lot of places in the United States, it's a lot safer. They say that they um, have been taught how to hold hands when they cross the street okay. to look both ways, make sure the light is with them, um, you know, those kind of things. I, you know, some days were better than others when I was, uh, you know, following those rules. My friend and I got to be pretty lax with our rules as far as the street went because we would go back and forth on this one same stretch of uh, road all the time. We felt like we knew it, but there was never anything that I would have called a close, close call, call. Um, you know, by any stretch. Most of the dangers that we po that we uh, experienced were not on the road. The children, 10-year-old Rafi and 6-year-old Devora, are allowed by their parents to one of Devora's, like from the Dvorak keyboard, because it's almost that same spelling, but without the K. Anyway, they're allowed by their parents to walk around their neighborhood together, but unaccompanied by an adult. Quote, they're very proud of their independence. They understand they need to hold hands when they cross the street, look both ways, and make sure the light is with them. Uh, but during a recent walk from two local playgrounds on two blocks from home, or one two blocks from home, the other a mile, separate callers alerted police and child protective services. The Mitives said police and social service workers questioned their children at their elementary school without their permission or knowledge. I find that very disturbing. Now, here it's spelled Meltive. Later on in the... It's spelled both ways in this article. I'd just like to let you know. It's spelled Mitive in other locations, and here it is spelled Meltive. Anyway, when they were talking to them, they were painting a picture of a world that was very scary. Look, kids, we know you think you can just walk on down to the park like it was a nice, beautiful day out and everything's totally fine. But kids... You've got to understand, there's perverts out there. They're lurking around every corner. And if there around... weren't scary people out there, you wouldn't need the police, kids. Behind every bush, they're out there watching you and just waiting to pull up with a van that says free dogs and candy on the outside, just trying to snatch you away. Now, are there instances of this happening? Of course there are. Yes. and there Statistically, are... a child is in far more danger from their family members than they are from somebody on the outside. Some random person with a candy van? You're absolutely correct about that. Uh, they're much more, much, much greater risk from people, not just, uh, you know, the creepy uncle, but also from right within the, the family as well, from what I understand. Uh, you can share your thoughts. 855-450 free and no police are going to be able to save those kids. Because they're not around during the family reunion. 855 450 free. You can share your thoughts here. We'll give you more about the family that's under investigation. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. 
It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. You're welcome to dial toll-free and join us here on Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We have Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. If you want to get some gold and silver, and it looks like uh, the prices on precious metals uh, have uh, some opportunity for upward mobility, I believe currently silver's priced lower than the cost for acquisition, which means that uh, what it what it takes for them to mine it, and that means that the price it seems to me can only go up from here. If you agree, you should go to gold.freetalklive.com and get some gold and silver. It's uh, right there and available for you. Great prices. It will Midas Resources, with whom we've partnered, is uh, going to make sure you get it in your hand. You're going to get it quickly, and you're going to be satisfied in the process. It's gold.freetalklive.com. All right, we're talking about the fear-based world that so many people live in, to where a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old brother and sister were walking from and to a park recently um, that was near, fairly nearby their home. Uh, there was a phone call, a couple calls, actually, that were made by two local busybodies. There were two pro, um, two playgrounds involved. One was two blocks from the house, the other a mile. Separate callers alerted the police in Maryland and child, protected, child Protective Services. I mean, can you imagine how ridiculously amount of a busybody you would have to be to be in your home to see some kids walking by the house outside and to run for your phone. Oh, my God. The children, they're in danger. And call 911, the police, on these kids? I think that... Um, the, it's sick. I think what's normal has changed in society, right? Like, I still consider that normal. I wouldn't bat an eye if a couple kids walked by the 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 uh, LRN studios here during the day. Kids aren't a big concern of yours. Um, I mean, they're just not. They don't enter into your thought process. Single males aren't known to be the great protectors of children. Um, so, you know, what your thought process is? Are you on, saying you think it was women who called on uh, on these kids? I'd say that's likely. Would be my well, guess. that seems like you're jumping to a conclusion it's, there. Yes. 
I am jumping to a conclusion. Pure speculation. Well, yeah, pure speculation based on my experience. Um, but, yeah, I would say that, and I would go a bit further also, it wasn't single young males making those calls. Okay. So that's what I'm going to say. But I do think that the world's changed and what their norms uh, have changed and that people's consumption of news and the media has changed their perceptions. I'm not saying that I think that it's okay to call the, the cops on a situation like this. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, I get it. People are scared. I can tell you when my son, uh, when I've let him go off on his own. This How old is, is he now? Six? He's six. Yep. Going he'll, on seven? He'll be seven in March. Okay. And he hasn't been out on his own very much. At uh, when We'll go to this camping festival called Pork Fest, mm -hmm. the Porcupine Freedom Festival during the summer. And he wants to go out with his friends there. I know. I was coming home alone at age seven. Yeah. I remember that specifically. That was the year when my parents gave me my own keys and I was able to come home from, you know, I, it wasn't far from the bus stop to my house, literally just three houses, but I was able to, uh, to you know, unlock myself. And, oh, the humanity. Know, get into the house myself I and know. be alone with all the knives in there and everything else. In well, the house Baltimore could... law says that you were unqualified to be at home. You must be eight. Really? Or is it eight or nine? According I don't to... know. I haven't read the laws it's, in Baltimore. It's right there in the uh, uh, Maryland law Maryland... prohibits children sorry, under the age of eight from being unattended in a dwelling or car, you're right, but makes no reference to the outdoors. A person must be at least 13 years old to supervise, supervise a child under the age of eight. The Mitibs said the police and social service workers questioned their children at their elementary school without their permission or knowledge, and apparently the police also picked them up on the day in question. Uh, Sasha Mitiv says, and when they were talking well, with Well, the them, kids clearly got into the car of a stranger. <laughs> yeah, they were painting a uh, an armed stranger. They were painting a picture of a world that is very scary. They were telling my son Rafi, or asking him what he would do if he were grabbed by a stranger. Telling them, you know, there are creeps out there that are just waiting to grab children if they're walking by themselves. Maryland law prohibits children under the age of eight from being unattended. I just read that. Child Protective Services could not address the specific case, but did point to Maryland law, which defines a child defines child neglect as a failure to provide proper care and supervision of a child. This week, a CPS worker came to the Mitev's home with a safety plan. Sasha <laughs> says, quote, when I said I couldn't sign the illegal paperwork before our attorney looked at it, she said, if you don't sign, we'll take your kids right away. And she called the police. Yeah, that's that's the danger. It's crazy. Yeah, this is what you're dealing with. This is the the kind of uh, threat that you're under when dealing with CPS. You'll do what they say, or they'll take your kid. It's nuts. So, what can parents in this situation do? Because obviously, the these folks, the Mitivs, they are not alone. They're not the only parents in the in this you know in the United States who would like to have their kids have some autonomy to be able to travel on their own volition, especially as was happening here in a pair where you have a 10 year old with the six year old. So with the 10 year old there, it's much less likely that they're both going to crawl in the back of some pervert's van uh, who's claiming to have a lost puppy or whatever. And of course, again, how often does that actually happen? When was the last time an abduction like that happened in Maryland for all the fear-mongering stories Well, it just happened. There. The police picked these people up, <laughs> these kids up. It just happened. Now, let's not forget the story out of Colorado from about a couple of months ago where a little girl was taken from her from her home mm -hmm. because her father smoked marijuana. Now, yeah. this is in a state where marijuana is legal. This Child Protective Services felt that it was necessary to take this little girl. They put her in, a foster, wow. in her foster care. The crazy-ass foster care mother killed the little girl. And Whoa. this is what wow. now. Let, okay, if you want to talk about the perverts and weirdos that are roaming about the streets, the let's not forget system. the ones that that the uh, state employs. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there was the story in Florida about the guy working for CPS who turned out to have a bunch of child porn on his, you know, office computer, among other things. Share your thoughts with us here, especially if you're a parent and you want to weigh in on this. Are you somebody who would call the cops? On some kids walking around the neighborhood? The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Even if you're in a bad neighborhood, supposedly. I mean, there, there have been kids living in bad neighborhoods for all of, uh, you know, my lifetime in the United States. And, you know, they're still able to go out in the, in the streets and play and have a good time. 
I wouldn't have called my neighborhood a a good, you know, a a high class neighborhood by any stretch. There was this lady who lived next door to us. um, She's long dead now. (laughs) She was quite old, uh, Miss Nelson, uh, Nielsen. And she would at times, many times, come out and look at us while we're playing, like just glower at it, Mm. uh, you know, my friend and I, um, me, excuse me, uh, while we were playing. And I never. Get off my lawn. I never understood what she was doing like if she would have given us some instruction we probably would have done it whatever it was did she speak was she someone you could like converse with i you know as Maybe a kid she was a mute and she was just and she wasn't mute no. um uh, i'm certain she talked to my grandmother okay. who, who lived right next door um uh, you know i'm uh, if She's just I, as a kid, having fun. As a kid, like I didn't have the, uh, the 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 presence of mind to say, "Hey, how are you, Mrs. Nielsen? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Is there something I can help you with? Because I noticed you're standing out here watching us, and I don't know, you're giving me the creeps. What's up? <laughs> like, if I would have thought of doing that, maybe I would have gotten more information. But mm. instead, we just kind of felt. It's a creepy old witch. Yeah, it was just <laughs> this thing going on. Hey, what's? Leave us alone. Well, you knew enough to stay away from her, right? Like she obviously had bad vibes. 855 450 free. Would you call the cops and child protective services on some kids walking around the neighborhood? That's literally what happened in Maryland. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. I just got off the phone with New York. We are the number one network in the world. And it is an honor to stand before you. It's such an exciting time. We're stretching boundaries that will irreparably alter people's perception of what they are willing to watch. And our next season will offer tantalizing programming that plays seamlessly into the desire of our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you just a taste of what ODS has to offer. You know the rules. Grow a pumpkin or go home. Here's the twist. Only one of you has the real pumpkin seeds. Are you a pumpkin or not? You call yourselves pumpkin growers? I know I didn't get the pumpkin seeds. I dug in there. They're bean sprouts. Starting the pumpkin alliance. Anyone grows a pumpkin, we split the money. Get out of my patch. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. 
Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, shocking news out of Maryland that apparently if you are uh, under the age of eight, you cannot be unattended in a dwelling or car. So therefore, when I was seven years old, had I lived in Maryland, I did not. I was living in Florida when I was growing up, as you were as well, Mark. Nothing to be um, proud of, really, had if I you been look at the news out of Florida. And maybe it's illegal in Florida, too. I don't know. But uh, but apparently it would have been illegal had I been seven years old, getting off the bus, going home, unlocking the door with the keys my parents provided me, and then closing it behind me. That would apparently be uh, a parenting no-no, and parents would face time in jail ostensibly over that. In fact, the CPS workers are saying not only that, but you can't even walk around outside if you are unaccompanied. If you are accompanied, if you're under the age of eight and you're accompanied by someone under the age of 13, in this case it was a six-year-old and 10-year-old brother and sister, who were taken in by police and then questioned and intimidated, told that the world's a scary place, kids, and you can't just be out here all by yourself taking responsibility for your own actions. You can't be doing this. You have to have your parents with you at all times. And so kind of a, a really scary situation, especially when CPS came to the parents' home and said, hey, you better sign this paperwork we're shoving on you. And uh, one of the parents claimed this was illegal. If you don't sign, we're going to take your kids right away. And she called the police. Now, the USA Today article ends there, but I'm sure the story doesn't end there. So I'd like to learn more about this. If you've got more detail, you're welcome to share it with us here. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. Yeah, I can't imagine. It, this is just nuts. So Maryland's got a law that says you can't leave a kid under eight uh, home alone. And I wouldn't do that. I can't imagine uh, you know, leaving <laughs> my son's just going to turn fine. Just going to turn seven. But how long were you there? Till my parents got home. I how mean, long it, was that? It would have been. Uh, I don't know. I guess you know, school. What elementary school gets out at what three, three? o'clock or something? Call it so three? a couple hours. A couple hours there on yeah. your own. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not prepared I mean, I'm to not leave my drown son. myself in the bathtub or something like that. Just sit there, watch TV, or play video game, or whatever the heck it was I did at age seven. I don't think my son could turn on the TV by himself Seriously? and get on the channels. Well, it's different now. Um, you know, the TV was relatively easy to turn on when I was a kid. You know, you pull out the knob, you uh -huh. change the channel. But now, you uh, think you're come on. You really think that little of your son that he can't turn the television set on? I mean, doesn't he use computers? Yes. Well, if you can figure out how to use a computer and click a mouse, you can probably figure out how to turn a Well, this new is part of the problem is his mother does everything for him. That would be a problem. Uh, but sounds like uh, you yeah. <laughs> it sounds like beyond the scope of this show. But at the um, moment. I have got a but I I would still <laughs> say to turn on to watch television on my TV, you've got to do a lot of things. Yeah. You got to turn on the TV, you got to turn the, on the PlayStation the 3. Shut yeah. up. I'm telling you how to do it. You turn on the PlayStation 3. Yeah. Then you wait for the thing to warm up, then you push the over buttons until you find the yeah, Amazon the Prime uh, app on the uh, PlayStation 3. You got to make sure the source is right because there's about nine different sources on the TV. And as long as it's on HTML whatever 3, what HDMI 3, then you'll be fine. Then you push the Amazon thing. You wait for a couple of minutes while it sort of boots up. Then it'll drop a... I know you think this is really complicated, but I'm sure all the young people in the audience are just laughing at you. You silly old man! You can't handle selecting a source on a television set. I'm doing. You're, I do you're fine. Doing it wrong. Your, your your wife is doing it wrong. You're supposed to have the kid turn the TV on and switch the channels. The parents are the ones who aren't supposed to know how to do that stuff. I got you. All right, let's continue here, Mike. He's on the line, listening in. I don't know where. You're on Free Talk Live, Mike. 
Hey, buddy. How hey, y'all doing? Good. You're on the air. I just had a comment for y'all on CPS. Uh, my son was diagnosed with uh, some genetic disorders, which oh, makes him be a little larger than what he is and what he should be mm -hmm. for his age. And we took him in for surgery, and somebody called CPS, and uh, they got involved even though we had documented everything, and he had made so all of his Someone at the hospital called CPS on you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because wow. they thought he might have been in danger because he, but, but because of his eating disorders and because of his genetic problems, you know, he goes to therapy and everything. He's bigger than what he should be, but we've been on top of that for the last couple of years. And even though it was all documented and all the appointments were made, I dealt with them for six months before they left me alone. So it's your kid's pudgy and CPS wants to take him away because of it? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. God. I mean, at what point? At, at what point? Where? Where does it end? It doesn't. Uh, it, it, it it don't end. I mean, you know, you you don't have no privacy anymore, and people's going to tell you how to raise your kids, no matter what, no matter how much you love them, how much you take care of them. It, it don't matter. My, Anybody can stick their nose in your business at any time. It's yeah, sick, and I, your kids could get taken on the you know the a single phone call, an anonymous tip. I've noticed. Or store how people are just so willing to give parenting advice like they're they're not just parenting advice but sort of make judgments on other parents very very quickly it's, oh, yeah. a, it's amazing to me um I, well, you know, everybody's doing something wrong right like right. you couldn't possibly get it all right so are the people that are making the judgments right. uh, like you know we just don't know what the right way to raise kids are we're still figuring that out um oh but they'll child protective services will come and They'll interject their opinion, but when you ask them, what should I do now, they'll say, oh, well, I'm not a doctor. I can't answer that. <laughs> Whatever you do yeah. is going to be wrong uh, by someone's opinion. You know, you don't hug yeah. your kids. Don't hug your kids. That's uh, abuse. Well, they or actually used to I, say I, that I you shouldn't give your kids too much, uh, too much attention because it'll spoil them. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. my advice for anybody if they call you is to call a lawyer immediately. Yeah, that's not that absolutely. Idea. Don't talk to these bureaucrats and don't let them in your house. I swear to you, do not let them no, in your you house. You don't, don't. You don't. No, I found out later that you don't have to. You can right. say no. Right. No, you don't yeah. even have to talk to them. I mean, look, no, I'm not don't. an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice, but it's generally true of all bureaucrats. You are under no obligation to speak with them. If these people come knock on your door, and you've, if, if you're, you're not you're expecting not – he dropped off the line. Thank you for the call. Uh, if you're not expecting someone to be coming to your house, then it could be a bureaucrat, and you don't have to answer the door. You know, but what about this circumstance where the uh, Malt Maltovs, or whatever their names are here uh, – had Mitovs. Mitovs had to deal with where – the uh, the CPS is already involved, so the police pick yeah. up their kids. They say they That's you know a problem. they interview them at school. Then CPS comes to the door with a safety plan or whatever. Um, they say, "I'm not so sure that we want to do your stuff." They say. Whoa, whoa! If you don't do what we say, we're calling the police right now and I taking think, your kids. I think that's not that's not a don't talk to the bureaucrat situation. You should they should have never answered the door well, right. in the first place at that point. But well, the kids were scooped up previously, right? That's so correct. The kids were uh, were scooped up by the police. I think the best thing you could do would be to have a family plan. You know how when you grew, when you were growing up, you'd have the the family fire plan or whatever, where you know you get out of the house and I don't remember what it was in my house, but there was something like that that we had uh, safety plans, things like that. So. Instead of training your kids to trust the police, you train the kids the reverse and that they do not trust the police, uh, that they should not talk to the police, that the most information I would say that the kids should give the police is your name and phone number. And because you don't want your kids sitting in, you know, uh, a containment cell until further notice and then taken away to CPS protection because they can't reach you as parents. So I think it would still be valuable to have them alert the police to who you are so they can reach out to you to where you can then step in with an attorney and, you know, try to handle the situation from there. But I would say that the less the kids say to the police, the better off uh, you're going to be. I would have to agree with that statement. No matter. And, of course, they're going to try to intimidate your kids. I mean, that's what they do. Right? No, and that's, they're probably going to be pretty successful. Yeah. Because well, kids are pretty easy to intimidate if you're a police officer. Well, and, and yeah, I mean, they're going to lie to intimidate as well because the police are certainly free to tell lies in order to get uh, the information that they're looking for. So I would say that from whatever earliest age you possibly can, you start to train the, your kids that the police are not there to help them. 
Uh, that they this aren't. is so sad that this is what America's coming to. But it's true. They're dangerous. The police are dangerous people, and they will hurt families, and they will destroy lives and destroy freedom. I'm sorry. I wish it weren't the case. I wish Officer Friendly uh, were trustworthy, but they're not. Oh, I think that most police officers wouldn't deal with this, this in this manner, but I... I, I what, would, what, what do you think they would do? They got a call saying there's a couple kids wandering around. People have called saying they're worried about them. They call and they, they come and they scoop them up. That's what that is. It's what happened in Maryland. It could happen where you live. 855 450 free. You can take control. Am I overreacting here? This is Free Talk Live. More on the way. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. For 20 years, you've trusted Lumber Liquidators for the best deals on the best selection of floors. Well, this week, get even more deals in our January flooring sale. One beautiful hardwood, get pre-finished solid hardwood from $189. How about gorgeous bamboo that's twice as hard as oak? We've got strand bamboo for $219. Looking for top quality laminate? This week, get almost half off our thickest and best laminate, plus other great flooring deals and 18-month special financing. Don't wait. The January flooring sale is going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. The Knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com if you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's 
Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free and bring up anything you want here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. And you can enjoy the features that we share with you there. Again, freetalklive.com. We've got uh, different options for you to enjoy, including our mobile site. For those of you with a smartphone, you just go to m, as in mobile, freetalklive.com. You can connect quickly to our live streams there, as well as a podcast, m.freetalklive.com. To the phones and the fun, we're talking about some uh, a family, in this case in Maryland, who's under attack by the government for being permissive, for allowing their kids to go from point A to point B without parental involvement. Let's go to Don in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live. Don. Hey, uh, I, uh, I, I think the, the bigger issue here is who has control of your child. I mean, this, either the state or the parents. And that, that's what really is at issue now. I, whereas I, I disagree with some of your comments about letting Children, I mean, at least my children, you know, wander the streets uh, long distances because my kids have asked before, can I ride my bike downtown? And I you used to do it, Dad. And I said, well, times were different, you know, 30 Why? some years ago. Why were they so different? Well, it, well, first of all, I mean, you have to understand that uh, a child abduction is 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 really more rampant than what you would think. How do you fact, know that? I well, think... first of all, I know by experience because we had uh, – I got home uh, from work one day. My wife had told me about uh, my children that you know, were just across the street. And we're not talking – we're talking about kind of catty corner to our house. They were walking across the street, and the van stopped and uh, – come here, boys. Would you like to see a puppy or something? I don't know. That may not have been it because I've heard stories similar, but I just remember – it was a lady that got out. It was a panel van, no glass in it except the back window. And uh, the driver, they couldn't see. The woman got out and said, you know, tried to entice him to get to the van. Well, my oldest son at the time, uh, who was like seven, or no, nine, he had uh, he grabbed the hands of his two siblings, one seven and one five, and walked up across the street and says, come on, let's keep going. And 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 the van, you know, had sped away. And when I got home, I was told about that. And the police were there. They were investigating, gathering evidence. And 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 I said, oh, well, or at least that's over. They were asking questions. I thought, well, I don't think this is necessary. They're probably not going to come back. And he said, well, you'd be surprised. They, they will come back if they, you know, if they think, they have a chance here. So, you know, we, you know, we, we, we've already had pretty much, you know, we're, we're, we're parents that care. Now, now this is not even the reason I was calling about it. You just asked the question, how do I know? So uh, you've had a personal experience. Yeah, yeah. If I was, if I had that personal experience, I would probably be more careful, but I think that uh, you'll find that if you look up crime statistics, that uh, child abductions have gone down since the seventies. No, 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 no. I think you're wrong. And I, and I, right. and I don't Hold have, up. Accurate information because I mean to dispute that, but that maybe that's for another topic. But I was going to give you an example of a, we were a child charged with child abuse. Uh, hmm. This is about 18 years ago. I, I I had a radio show back then, and I got to the studio. My wife called me about five minutes before airtime, and said, uh, you know, down there, there's a lady here from HRS, and uh, and and we're being charged with child neglect as a form of child abuse oh my i said i said and, and she wants me to sign these these papers for a parenting class i said tell her to take a hike you know i'll i'll call you at, uh, at the first commercial break so about 15 minutes later i called and that lady was still there <laughs> and i said because, because apparently the, the charge was that that you know they had, that someone had an anonymous caller had called in and said that my child was wandering close to the street, you know, and, and they made it sound. We live on a, on a corner lot, residential neighborhood, but one of the streets is pretty busy and one isn't. And I said, that lady was still there. And I said, hey, uh, Dad, you don't understand. Tell that lady to get gone. And if she wants to talk to, to me, I mean, both of us, that's the way it's going to be. She's not going to get you to sign anything. So my wife you know, told her to get lost at that point. 
And and she watched her leave our house and walk across the street trying to get, you know, corroborative evidence from mm-hmm. the neighbors. And uh, my neighbor told her, oh, no, no, no. Hey, you, you don't, they, these, are, these are good pets. They watch their kids, you know, like a hawk. And, and so what I wanted to, I guess, say about all this, I think your last caller, and I probably would have, uh, if I had heard him first, wouldn't have called him. But the best thing that I did, you know, at that time, now this was Friday at 5 o'clock, so all your offices are closed and everything like that. I called um, uh, uh, a friend of mine who was in the legislature, and uh, and he referred me to someone else. They were introducing a bill to curb the abuses of this government agency, and they should – I mean, their their conviction rate is like 2.5%. So they have a very poor conviction rate, yet they – they have all this money at their disposal. They could do anything. They took a child that we knew from school at like noon and didn't even tell the parents until like 10 o'clock at night. Those parents were beside themselves wondering, what happened to my child? Don, I, mean, I, uh, I don't know what you mean when you say their conviction rate is two-something percent. I mean, all the stories yeah. we've heard about CPS, uh, Child Protective Services, the variants around the country, they seem very, very good at getting people convicted of things and yeah. stealing people's well, kids. I mean, what do you mean when you say uh, their conviction rate's two percent? Okay. Let, well, let me say, this was 18 years ago. This was like in 97. Okay. As my son at the time was uh, two years old, the one in... in, in uh, that we, we're referring to, and he's 20 now in college. And you know, so what you're saying kid. is that that yeah. was the two percent was back then, but they've gotten worse since then. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the conviction rate. But here's here's the the point that I, that I really wanted to make is that immediately I, this was on a weekend, so I had some time to to contact that legislator that told me about uh, you know the bill being introduced, and 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 this senator in Florida told me that hey, you did the right thing, get an attorney. Uh, and so we hired my attorney, my personal attorney, and we hired another attorney, uh, uh, somebody guard, guardian ad litem for our kids. So we set up a meeting. I called them Monday morning. I told them, right here, you got a problem with this and that. And they said, yeah, okay, I want, well, I'll set up a meeting. And we set up a meeting. And it came to the office, and, and they were, they, what, what they basically alleged was, uh, that, you know, your child was seen, uh, wandering around. And, and when I realized, there was a specific event tied to that. I knew it was. I, I knew exactly what what had happened, and I knew why the person had called. But I told him, I says, "Well, all we want to do is interview your children without you, so they will talk freely." And I said, "Okay." And even my attorney agreed to that. So oh, that sounds okay. I said, "No, here's what we'll do." Hell no! Can I talk to your children without you around? <laughs> no, no. I said, if you will videotape the proceedings. You know where I won't be around you, but and because I want to hear the questions that you ask them mm-hmm. and everything, and they said no, we can't nope, do that. They won't do that. that. Not a surprise, Don. Thanks right for the call tonight. Yeah, these bureaucrats don't want any accountability for what they do. They want to do it in secret. They don't want any light shown on their activities. And I think that's an, that's another thing we didn't mention before. If these bureaucrats show up at your house. I don't believe you have an obligation to talk to them at all, let alone answer the door. But if you somehow end up in a situation where someone else has answered the door or you've answered the door and— Well, I think once you've answered the door, you've lost— uh, well, you can close the door right then. I mean, if you if the uh, if you answer the door, the person's like, "I'm such and such from CPS." Click. Okay, close I'm sorry. The door right then. You shouldn't. I shouldn't say you lost. You're down. Uh, you're behind the the eight yeah. ball as in but, the game. But at that point, if for some reason you're in a situation where you can't avoid interaction with them, let's say that uh, it's one of these things like with the parents that had their kids picked up by the police. Document, document, document. Grab a video camera, get your cell phone, get Bambuser on there. Treat these people like they're the police because they will call the police at a moment's notice to confiscate your kids from you. So document Consider all them of it. to be the police. Uh, let's go to James in Arizona. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Van, damn it. Didn't get to call last night, uh, Minister Bernard. We're all so disappointed. Go ahead, James, with your thoughts tonight. Well, I didn't get to make like old times with Lionel, like Chris Farley, and ask uh, Lionel, remember the time that you and your sidekick, call screener Peter, called Wit the greatest? Anyway, I, he's same as he ever was, a clever, contrarian, progressive conspiracy theorist. And I would have loved to just have asked him, speaking of the cause of the Iraq war, that he proclaimed we, the coalition of the willing, invaded Iraq for oil? Really? 
how's that working out for the 30,000 So here's what you should do. If you want to talk to Lionel, he's got a Twitter account. You can reach him at at Lionel Media on Twitter, and then you can ask him whatever you want, James. You don't have to call a day later and ask questions on a show where he's not listening. So uh, (laughs) it's been Ian here with you. And Mark. And we'll be back tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. And, Mark, maybe you will let us know what the uh, violence with against kids is. We, it's we it's about the same as the 70s. We were both wrong. All right. More coming up tomorrow. See you then. Freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Mark Claire here. Lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the morning roar. That's right. Every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of The Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com, advancing the ideas of liberty daily. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency, and Bitcoin